talking about flashing lights, baby. Flashing lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me. They didn't even fucking know me. This is my story. This is what I was doing with what nobody Look. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. What? What? Damn. Mm. As I previously mentioned, it's, it's no longer Lexi's arena, uh, but the good times that made us laugh will always come back. <coughs> I'm sorry, Lexi. It seemed like everybody showed up when it came back to Gills Arena. You know it's Gills Arena because we had started the time. <laughs> <laughs> see, when, she, when it was Lexi Arena, like three people was here. <laughs> Le Lexi was supposed to be on the show today. I did. I like that. Lexi was Lexi. supposed to be on the show today, but she pulled out 15 minutes before game time. I don't know if she oh. ducked you, sure. I don't, don't know. Don't do that. Oh, no, don't I'm do that. that. <laughs> I'm just Lexi, kidding. it had a nice ring to it. Lexi's Arena. I, it did. It did flow better. Mm, the <laughs> colors mine exactly. In the <laughs> they, put, they put it all back here. I, I don't know if that pink was my pink. <laughs> I don't know if that pink that's was my... That's a different color pink. That's yeah, a different that's, color pink. Yeah, that, is, <laughs> but that ain't a gender neutral right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we starting already. Oh, God. This Monday. Well, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas uh, back as the namesake of the show. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Lexi Tree to be better, girl. I ain't gonna lie to you. I get okay. it. Hey, I you understand. Know. Polite. You know. gave your friendship bracelet. You gave me a friendship yeah. bracelet. Acknowledge me. Yeah. She gave everybody a friendship bracelet. Oh. Some of y'all just didn't wear yours. I don't know how to tell her I broke mine. Uh, well, you, you just, just told, told her. her. <laughs> no, no, she probably ain't watching the beginning. She probably ain't watching. Yeah, she was watching the show. I was trying to, I was trying to uh, take it off, and it just snapped. Cheap shit. It just snapped. Oh. No, it just snapped. I don't think I you tied it tight. I have mine, and I forgot to put it on. Mm. Yeah, those were Italian beads. <laughs> <laughs> Very expensive, highest quality. Mm. We got Kenya Martin back with us on the couch. I'm, I'm really enjoying the hat today. Oh, what's that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And we got a special guest making her second appearance in the arena. I like that. Her basketball resume is far too impressive to list efficiently. Hall of Famer Cheryl Swoops back on the couch. You want me to do it all? Four That's time all WNBA, I four, time, four time WNBA I, champ, three time MVP, I, three time defensive like, player of the year. But you could, you could, just, you could just point to the jersey. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, gave, I gave you shit last year. I time. know. I Look, told you. I was going to. You came through. Jill Atone, Jill Atone for a sin. Put you on the wall of fame. He did. Are, are, are you cool being bottom row? Should you be, because he, he could have flipped the KG. Everybody's not that tall, so he got Okay. Okay. He yeah, was asking no, me a question. No, he can't put that size 56 asking, jersey nowhere else. He was asking me else. a question. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. 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 A, a size 56 jersey, John. No, so he... I'm on the wall. Okay. I'll, I'm okay with that. All right, don't worry. After the I show. Went on, I went on the wall last time. <laughs> it, so. yeah, it, was, it was quite problematic. <laughs> but Gil has a tone for his sins. <laughs> Gil's an honorable man. Uh, we called it to question. <laughs> but here's what's cracking in Gil's arena today. Uh, Luca and Devin Book are the latest stars with huge offensive nights. But is the defense really that trash in this era? Mm. Embiid hasn't played a game in Denver since 2019. Why does he continue to duck Joker in the Mile High City? Mm. And LeBron and Steph renewed their rivalry this weekend. But where does LeBron-Steph rivalry rank all time? And Lakers got that win, too, in case y'all didn't know. Mm. But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Go ahead, download the app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. You heard that right. Use promo code GILL on the Underdog Fantasy app to get that $100 first-time deposit match. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. If you drop a good question in the chat with your Underdog Fantasy username, we'll use that question on the show. We will give you a $50 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account. If you send us a video at mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and we use that video on the show, you get a $100 bonus. Keep those videos coming. They don't just have to be basketball questions. They can be off-kilter. They can be a little bit of everything. As you know, we got a lot of dynamic personalities on this couch. And they're willing to answer all of your questions as long as they are somewhat not out of pocket. But if you can't watch this show live with us on YouTube, we got audio versions available on Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. So we are a basketball <coughs> show, but it was a, a big weekend in the NFL Championship Sunday. 
Uh, Chiefs and Niners advanced to the big game in Vegas in a rematch of Super Bowl 54. But one of the more memorable moments happened before the Chiefs-Ravens AFC Championship game even started. So during pregame warm-ups, Ravens kicker Justin Tucker was holding it down in the Chiefs area while Patrick Mahomes was trying to get right. After Mahomes tried to get him to vacate the premises, Travis Kelsey stepped in, did his best, best impression to Rodney from Baby Boy, said, I don't give a fuck about your fort. <laughs> Kicked his balls in his helmets. Can you, our resident football fan, uh, were the Chiefs out of pocket for messing with Tucker's pregame routine? Nah. They, they, they sport different. <laughs> like, nah, it's psychological with them. Like, they trying to get in his head, he a kicker, and fuck your couch. Like, we're in your house, and we coming to kick your ass, which they did. They did. But, no, I ain't got no problem with that. They do it all the time. Somebody stretching, they're out there stretching. They run between, uh, see, run between them while they stretching, the opposing team, shit like that. They start fighting, pushing. You see it in college all the time, college football. You see it in the NFL all the time, so. It's sportsmanship, man, to a certain, like, it's, it's part of it. So, sure, you, yeah. you, Tucker's on his home field, one of the biggest games of his career, AFC Championship game, chance to go to the Super Bowl. You see something like happen, that happen. Is that disrespectful to do in his house? No, I, I agree with Kenyon. First of all, it's also like you're trying to mentally get in his head, get in their head. Um, Tucker probably should have come back and either done something, said something, I don't know. But I agree. It's, uh, it's, it's sports. It happens. Take it. You either like it or you don't. And if you don't like it, then you got to do something about it. Did you ever have any issues with, with the opposing player no. trying to mess with you? No. They, they, they had to <laughs> <laughs> they had to well, and, 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 and if they did, it wasn't something that was like that blatant, right? Like where I saw it or we saw it. So, but the other side of that is I'm not going to allow you to come in to my home and do that. Yeah. So. Tucker, a little scrawny dog. I don't know if he wanted <laughs> Kelsey or Patrick Mahomes smoking. Well, he got teammates. I mean. Yeah. That, where like you at? said, like Pat Mahomes was trying to get him to do a head move, so Travis Kelsey came over there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like that's... I mean, I, I mean, that's what Travis like quarterback. Is to yeah, do. that's what the tight end is. That's my quarterback. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the problem right there. You the quarterback, you can't get the kick of the move. No, but, <laughs> hey, but <laughs> in, in my home's defense, but here's the psychological too. He ain't trying yeah. to worry about that. Yeah, right. He, he, he gotta, moved his stuff earlier, and then Kelsey came in. Tucker set it back up, and then Tuck, uh, Travis Kelsey. So came what in. is he doing on that side anyway? Whatever kickers do before games, go. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> he ain't kicking, obviously, so shit. He could have been on a kick and from the one yard line. That's what I'm saying. He ain't stretching. He ain't do, I mean, he's yeah, stretching. Well, he, he also is trying to do exactly what the yeah, Chiefs were trying to do. Absolutely. Right? So, so do it. Goes best. Like I said, sportsmanship. Yeah, I guess Ga was... gain, gainsmanship, not sports. Yeah. It's gainsmanship. Like, yeah, so it's that. Practicing yeah. kicks going that way, you know, just to fuck with them. And, yeah. You know, kick towards the hidden dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just kick towards the quarterback. Yeah, it makes sense. But you're just sitting there stretching, laughing. Yeah. So let's shift this to basketball. Uh, what are the unwritten rules of pregame between two teams during warmups? Like, did y'all have ever have any issues like this? How do y'all determine who gets what side of the court? And when you want to come in and get your shots up, and there's a lesser player there, are you telling them kick rocks so you can get it going? Oh yeah, somebody down there shoot. They know once you come out. It's like, y'all pick an end, whatever end y'all on, we go go to the other end. When we walk out and somebody's shooting on this end from the other team, you ain't got to say shit. They know all of it. It's, it's unwritten. What if that's the end you want to shoot on, though? No, no. They already, it's already been established because okay. the rookies and all that shit get there first. Mm -hmm. And then I already picked the basket that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that we're going to shoot on. So it's, <laughs> that's what it is, man. Ain't nobody going to. Like I said, the only thing that somebody not, might let you do if you're trying to go use a practice facility, like a, if they got a, like another court within the arena and you're trying to go shoot, most teams are going to tell you, nah. Mm -hmm. Got a couple people, yeah, it depends on who you are. Yes. Yeah, but if it's you. just the average person trying to go use, they going to be like, nah. <laughs> Or if you try, try to, to use the ice tub or the weight room or <laughs> yeah. some shit, they depends on who you are. Go do yeah. some push-ups outside, or you trying to shoot free throws. It really, it really depends on who you are, man. Like, like in our situation, like, weight like, room. Like usually, it's like the court is yeah, because the road team picks which way they're gonna go. So usually, when the rookies come in, you know whatever side they're going on, you go. And for the most part, if you're a veteran or you get there really early, you know you usually start on the other side, get your little shots in, and then. Come to your side, but nobody really has problems on on court. Um, 
locker room stuff. I remember yeah. Melo wanted to use a hot tub. It's Melo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Melo. You know? <laughs> Anybody else? Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you talk about when, when Kobe was working out and you were watching, was he using both sides of the court or was it just, this is Kobe's time on the court, whatever he wants to do, y'all got to... Actually, it was always just the one side. Okay. Um, away. <laughs> it was the it was the away side, which now now thinking about it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, thinking now it wouldn't make it wouldn't make sense. I mean, for him it makes sense because it's he don't need to look at the he same don't, end that Brian shoot on. Yeah, he don't need to look at uh, the coach to the, the, the yeah. run his offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Just it's just him. Yeah. You know, but that's the way I'll be going in the second half. So you know, in theory, it wouldn't make the yeah. same the same end that Brian shoot on now. Yeah. And sure, what can you learn about a team right. watching them in warm ups? Like, did the you ever? Yep, close by the time. <laughs> did you ever watch players try and figure out tendencies or, or what they like to do? I didn't. Not <laughs> not in warm ups. Um, I, I, I will go back and say this. So when you talk about warm ups, there were times for us, if if like our rookies or players who weren't going to play that much were out and they were shooting on the same end that we were supposed to be shooting on, and like. If I came out, or Coop came out, or Tina came out, we wanted a basket. So they would then go and shoot at the other end until the other team came out, or they just stopped shooting. Okay. Um, All right. I like it. Or they go sit down with their ball and watch yeah. them. Watch, yeah. Yeah. Shoot, watch, watch them shoot. Like, right, you do your 30. They don't want to do your 30. Play, you know? Watch them. Hey, okay, then get back on the court. Come yeah. rebound. Yeah. It, was like, it was like jail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't know. You got to worry about your own. <laughs> <laughs> so we had some legendary bucket getting this weekend. Uh, so we got to show Luca and D-Book some go love. On. Like, hold on, I'm going to It'd be one, like, so, so the young guys that have two coaches out there, right? Mm -hmm. It'll be one person, it'll be seven coaches. <laughs> <laughs> like, right? <laughs> it'd be seven people, six people rebound and one more. person passing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's respect. And, and the ball kids. Yeah, yeah. The ball kids, yeah. yeah. Everybody say, yeah. Hold the arena out there just Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had some, some more legendary bucket right. getting this weekend, so we got to show Luca and D-Book some love with a very special hibachi time. We need a sponsor for hibachi time. you looking lonely. <laughs> So after Embiid and Cat did their thing about a week ago, dropping oh, 70 and 62 ago. respectively, Luca and D, D Book did some bucket getting of their own. Let's start Definitely with, with, with Luca. Did the birds Johnson dirty in Atlanta, Definitely dropping a 73 right. piece the on Trey and the Hawks dome yeah, with an array of moves like that inside, He's outside. However, they wanted it, Ooh. they got it. The 73 came on a ridiculous 91.2 true shooting percentage. Uh, Luca went 17 for 20 from two. 18 for 13 from three and 15 from 16 from the foul line. Bucket. So Luca's tied for the fourth highest scoring game in NBA history and is the first player to score 60 plus points with a 90 plus true shooting percentage. What the fuck does you keep? You, that's the second time you said this. You kill true 90. What the fuck does that mean? Analytics. No, but what does it mean? Is there a fake 90 percent shooting? A true shooting percentage. No, what I'm saying is there a <laughs> fake one. Like you saying, you keep saying true. Is there a fake one? Is there an untrue? That there, I think just the regular. I, I'm just the regular ninety percent. We get it. It's right. Untrue. This is a true untrue ninety percent. What the fuck is untrue? Yo, yeah, blame, blame, like like, blame the squares. No, what I'm saying is like, okay, if you want to say Wilt Chamberlain's one hundred percent true or not true, that makes sense. But we 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 know. Yeah, see, we, this we, is why we need Lexi back. We can ca we can <laughs> we can calculate this motherfucker didn't miss much. <laughs> But you, you need the actual <laughs> analytics, Gil, all right, to support the argument. <laughs> okay. So to your point, ain't nobody seeing a video of Will's 100-point game. We're still trying to locate that. However, we did see Kobe drop 81 on the Raptors. But is Luka's 73 and 7 dimes the most dominant offensive performance in the modern era? Uh, I mean, 81 is 81. But I will say yes. I will say yes because it's on the road. You know, most dominant performances are at home. You know, 81 at home. Wilt was in, was in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, so it's going on the road. Books then came on the road. Huh? Books. Book, book drop 70 on the Celtics, right? Yeah. Um, in a loss. 
So, and, you know, and, going in uh, and on the pace going in Atlanta, you know, we want to go to strip club the night before. Um, scoring 73. <laughs> is, that I mean, that's huge. That's huge. Does it add any more that it was in Atlanta just knowing how turned up that city well, is? Well, I, I Oh, that was a little turned up. What is, Lu, what is Luca doing in Atlanta? Uh, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> there, there's rumors. <laughs> there's rumors. You wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all don't know there Luca. There's rumors. Like, you don't know Luca like that. Yo, Luca, Luca be like in the. <laughs> huh? Hey, this is this is this. He's not going to Magic. Hell he, yes, yes, he is. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes, he is. Him, Paul Gasol, <laughs> Zubac. There's some different. <laughs> they built just a tad different. So Sherry was looking at that. Is Luca seventy three and seven dimes the most dominant offensive I, on the men's side? I don't know. Um, and. and like, I didn't play in the NBA, so they can speak to this better than I can. But just watching the game, I just, I feel like it's easier. Like, yes, that, like, don't get me wrong, it's a dominant performance. But I feel like <clears throat> it's easier to score like that because I feel like the defense is just like. Mid, as the young kids would say. Trash. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I mean, I don't think right. defense really exists that much. One, yeah, the rules have changed, so you can't, you know, you can't touch, you can't put a hand on anybody, like all of that, and it's very different. Kobe got his 81. The defense was different, right? Wrong? No? It was. He scored 81. I, don't, I mean, yeah. that sounds like the defense wasn't really there. But I'm saying, but they, but <laughs> they, like, they it no, them dudes tried. Yeah, I, like, no, no, no. No, they were, they were, they were, were trying. trying to they stop trying this to, man. Right? Mm -hmm. They just couldn't fucking do it. Like, just looking at those highlights, it was like Luca just kind of got to wherever he wanted to get to when he wanted to get there and do whatever he wanted to do. And it was just a little, hmm, I'm going to try to stop you, but so. In the Hawks defense, they did try to throw multiple defensive coverages. Uh, didn't prove to be effective, but can you watch it? the that same game? guys out there. He already cooking the same people. Y'all just moving furniture around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> same fucking guys. Oh, you guard them and then you, yeah, you yeah, help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no. You guard them and then, and then you help. help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know, no, it's the same shit like the, the guy in the first clip, right? The boom, 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 the step, the pump fake. He finna shoot it. He like, oh, shit. the fuck ain't nobody here. Okay, lay up. Mm. Like, right, that's, right. He's like, come on, man. Like, well, I get it. He's very, very good at the game of basketball. He's been playing absolutely. So don't nobody react. He is, he is really Pump good. Pump fake. He can ready to shoot a step, a mm. fade away. Yeah. If you're there. It's two of y'all standing over there, and neither one of y'all is like, oh, he just like, oh, shit, this is. So and that's, and that's like the NBA point, right at now. At what point when you look up and you see that he got 50, do you, does somebody step up and say, you know what? Like pride at some point has to step in. I, I just... My mentality was just different. Like, you might give me 30, but I'm not going to let you give me 31. Okay, but, yeah. you know, I ain't going to hurt you. Pride, pride, but, pride sounds good. Yeah. It do. Uh -huh. did, did anybody pride stop you from scoring? Well, no. no. Okay. <laughs> no. no. But, <laughs> but did no, they but, try harder? That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. just the <laughs> effort. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's okay. all we asking that's for. It. That's it. That's it. That, that the looks, effort, no, that's no. not effort. That I mean, no. what is what what is that? Yeah. Like when when, no. when I'm scoring F, when when I'm scoring sixty, Kobe's effort was there. It don't stop me. You you have a whole team back there. It doesn't. What? Did you work for that sixty? No. Did you see the sixty? I saw you. Yeah, but did Kobe guard yeah, you the whole game? Yeah, see the sixty. He didn't go all. He, back he didn't get all sixty. Did Come on, shoot three. He didn't get all How many 60, of that sixty did Kobe actually? Thirty-three on. exactly. How okay. much did Smush get? Not much. Okay. So everybody got a piece. Everybody got, there, right? everybody got a piece. And okay. it, but what I'm saying is, is <laughs> 33 exactly. I love you. Like, know. When you're out of your <laughs> element, right? When you're out of your element, which he's 6'9", 6 6'10". 6 he's a big guard. So, so who's guard? Who's really guarding him that's going to make it hard for him? Anybody who's guarding him does not play the point guard position in the sense of guarding someone who's coming at you down. Well, listen, I get send it. all five that. in and make him pass the ball. I understand. Just it's like tough. LeBron and Giannis, right? Giannis' yeah. advantage is he don't post up, right? So he, you not guarding, he, he don't have to deal with you trying to guard him like this. Right? You would kill him. Like, he, he's running full court, coming at you full speed. Yeah. That's, you know what I mean? So most of these guys, they're playing, they're playing out of an element where that defense is not designed to guard him in that space. So most of these guys that's guarding LeBron, Giannis, um, Luka, uh, even shit, Devin, Devin Booker, mm -hmm. right? They're, you're playing in their field, and 
Like Kobe trying to guard me as a point guard. Yeah, you're not, you're not stopping me. If I pass the ball and now I got to come off screens and shit like that, I'm in your world. Right? You know, and some of these guys are just out of their world. Yes. I, I, yes, factual. Absolutely. But. It's just, it, I, I get it, man. It's just. Gil, did you say Luke is 6'10"? 6'9", yeah. he said. He's 6'9", 6'9". Six, 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 what, what do you want to say? I'm just asking. Don't say it. Say it. Say it. Gil's arena. Say it. Gil's arena. What, 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 is, what, is, what does Google say when he was 18 getting measured and we stopped growing at, what, 21? What does Google say? Huh? Google say what? Six, Six, eight, six, eight and a half without his shoes on. Then when he put his shoes on, what, what, how tall is he again? <laughs> Just ask Six, him. nine, six, ten. Right? Just ask him. <laughs> okay. He's listed at six, seven, but obviously he's probably grown a little bit. Yeah. No one, they, they, don't, they don't redo him. He's a big right? guard. Yeah, he's, he's a big, strong He's a big guard, man. But... Mm. Yeah, I'm just, I just look mm. at, no. It, like everybody like six, seven, like listen, six, seven at 18 years old, right? He just grew a few inches, put your shoes on. Right, he's two inches. You're six nine. If he grew an inch, now he's six ten. Okay. Right. Remember six. Remember uh, Tatum was six 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 seven when he came into the league. Now he's reported all of six ten. We grow, motherfuckers. They don't recheck you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't recheck. I was, you know, I'm two twenty four. I'm still at, listed at one ninety. Just stay with the one ninety, girl. Stay with the. It's not like our team sister and measures you and redo it. Yeah. They're not doing it every year. No, they don't do it every year. One so, time. sorry. So what? So what does the coach say in that moment? It's just a mm-hmm. question. Help! <laughs> like you know, is, the, co- the, is the coach saying, I, I, "Well, I don't know. Do something. I don't know." Trash. <laughs> That's probably what they're saying. <laughs> I, 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 because, dude, <laughs> the number one brand. Besides ISOs in this NBA, the number one ran offense is what? Besides pick and roll. Pick and roll. Oh, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't watch the game. I was doing something. But <clears throat> I'm pretty sure they ran a significant amount of pick and roll. Mm-hmm. Throughout the game, he has the ball in his hand. I don't know the percentage of it because I'm not an analytical guy like yourself. I'm not either, mm-hmm. Kane. I just merely... Um, I, y'all don't know the the true, uh, I don't know the true, percent, the true shooting percentage. A either, lot. So what? A lot. The ball in his hand is a fucking lot during mm-hmm. the course of the game. Running pick and rolls. How many of those pick and rolls did they trap? How many? You get the ball out of his hand. Yeah. And when he, because he's going to pass it. Mm-hmm. Don't let him get it back. And how many times did they fucking deny him back to half court? This is what I'm saying about the effort. That, like, just, dude, I'm a, we come out of that timeout. If the coach ain't caught, well, this is the way I did it. Because mm-hmm. I got tired of Kobe busting our ass. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. He's out there playing one-on-one. And we ain't doing nothing to adjust to it. So we come out of timeout, and I told the guys, listen, he get it, I'm going to run at him. He going to give it up and deny him back. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long it's going to work, but we're going to get this motherfucker a different look. Mm-hmm. And the head coach was like, you know, I like that. What you, what you want to call that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck we going to call it, <laughs> but it's a different look for him. Mm-hmm. Who I'm guarding Lamar, who I'm running at him, dude. I'm gonna go double team him. Mm-hmm. Where are you at? I'm just gonna run at him. Yeah, because what you've been doing up to that point is <laughs> working. It ain't working. So do, they, do tr- something they tried different. to double, they tried to load up. No, but denying him the ball back and all that. They, 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 listen, he give it up and them motherfuckers be like, who, he ain't got it. Mm-hmm. And them motherfuckers the fake that bitch and throw it right back over there. Now he, the now he playing down here with a low clock. Def- defense takes effort. Right? Mm-hmm. And not a, not a lot of people want to really truly play defense yeah. like it does it takes effort and when you're guarding somebody like a luca like a kobe that they gonna give you hell night in and night out like it takes a little bit more effort <clears throat> a lot of people just don't want to do it but if if what i'm doing it has not worked and to your point we even did that if coach i was like coach listen this ain't working after timeout we go back out on the floor and we get together and we're like listen this is what we're gonna do and to your point, I don't know how long it's going to work, but we're going to try it. <laughs> we can try it. Even you. if it works for three or four possessions. That's six, yeah. eight less points Now you're giving him somebody have. else to think about. Are you giving him another thing to think about, yeah. right? Well, okay, I know what said he called, but them motherfuckers doubling me, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I, I got I to gotta yes. think. It's going to take me three or four possessions to figure out, okay, how they playing me now. Now we, okay, if we was down 12, now we might be down six. Like, okay, gave us a chance because this dude ain't got the ball. Now I can we can play other dudes one on one. 
the problem with that is, <laughs> remember, their two guards are small, right? Yeah. Okay. Was, so yeah. he so he has well, the Trey, best. Trey wasn't guarding him. Anyway. What I'm saying, he has the best defender on him. So if he needs help, y'all in trouble. Oh yeah. <laughs> this this what y'all got? There's nobody protecting the rim at all. Right? Okay, so all. the defense, the de the problem with the defense today, if we're going to argue about the defense, is that they don't have that back line. Mm -hmm. That you were used to see. There's nobody built like you back there. Bam. Bam. If that, if bam, that's true. That's bam, true. You're pushing through bam. Yeah. Right? I'm pushing through bam. Right? If I'm driving full speed and he jumps, I'm pushing through that with my speed. Right? So Luca's pushing through that. That's LeBron. True. So you don't have the Shaqs and the McGlores and the Marcus, Yao Mings. Marcus Camp. Marcus Camp. You don't have those those bigs back there that's stopping the guard. True. Most of the defense that guards thought they were playing, yeah. you're I'm not going by you because I don't want to get hit by Ken and um uh, mm -hmm. twin. Hey, it's big yeah. down there. That's what's that's what's keeping me from back there. That You're not. That is true. Like I can blow by you at any moment. It's okay, King is watching me. <laughs> he has no fouls today. Yeah. Right? No thank you. <laughs> I don't need to get my head chopped off yet. I'll wait till we're in the penalty, but I'm not gonna go in there and get hit for free. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> for the most part, yeah, you you're guarding me. Yeah. Your shit look nice. Yeah. Sub him out of the game. I'm gonna show you how nice that shit looks, yeah. right? So most of the most of the most of the defense that looked like they were playing defense mm -hmm. is because you, you were you were big guys back there. There's no big guys now, so there's nothing keeping me from running through the lane. And they fucking switch and pick and rolls. Switch and pick and rolls like oh, five man is guarding. They going. I got Rudy on me. Yeah, go yeah. Pew. I got, Rudy, I got Rudy. So who's back there? Yeah, oh yeah. shit, Conley's gonna protect the yeah. rim. I'll that see you in true. a minute. Yeah, because LeBron did that the other night. Yeah, the I think the second overtime when he just he was like, "Give me the rock," and he went from half court, went through four players, and got to the hole, and they fouled him and mm -hmm. all of that. So I. Golden State's a little different because they they don't have no bigs anyway. Yeah, well, yeah. But I I do agree with that. Yeah, ain't no real. That place. is a big difference. Yeah, I remember when we was playing. When we was playing, we was playing LeBron and D Wade, and Dwight hit one of them motherfuckers real hard. Both of them stopped driving. <laughs> Makes you no. think twice about it. No, we're yeah. gonna shoot these yeah. middies and these <laughs> these bank shots, which makes defense easier for us. Absolutely. Right, yeah, go to the lane. They gonna now they gotta come back and start start off, then come back and do a move, pump fake. Oh yeah, I don't wanna go in there with big fella. Like I'm watching game the other day. KJ got some minutes. They playing Denver, right? Joel didn't play. He trying to guard Joel. I mean, I'm um, for Nicola, right? Mm -hmm. Way undersized. Mm -hmm. As we, way undersized. Mm -hmm. But the work that he was doing early to, to make him catch the ball off the block, mm -hmm. I was happy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, did you listen, dog. <laughs> uh -huh. Man, like, he just didn't let him catch it on the block where he wanted to catch mm -hmm. He had front and forward. To, like, he was like, made him, I was like, okay. That's all I'm asking mm -hmm. for, because once he catch it, we know what he gonna do with it. Like, mm -hmm. it's fucking really good. Ain't he bigger than him, so he just gonna do, <laughs> don't, dun, 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 dun. You come double, he gonna motherfucking do some shit, right? But I was like, my, my son, listen, dog. <laughs> <laughs> He, he had that motherfucker tied. Yo, dead ass tied fighting yeah. that motherfucker down there. Right, I'm fighting through it, doing this over half back and yeah. switching him. Legs gone. Yeah. yeah, I was like, man, hey, that's what you got to do. So we asked the chat, is uh, Luca 73 the most dominant performances? Will 67% said no. Yeah. Okay, good job, chat. Uh, let's move yeah, on to Duke. Yeah, because Kobe Kobe's, scored 81. It's going to be Kobe's 81. Yeah, let, let's move on. Yeah, we got guys out <laughs> here that know, like James Harden with 60 point triple double and shit. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. it's been some games out this bitch where yeah. Russ 20, 20, 20. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it don't, it's been some it, it's goddamn been, performances yeah, I, I out here. That road. That, just, just scoring 7 3 on a, in a, on a road is kind of like, ooh, okay. Well, let's talk about it jumping in that joint, too. Yeah. <laughs> and he had that motherfucker jumping. Jump, that's what I mean. Yeah. He had that bitch no, jumping. Lucy trying to get uh, jerseys autographed, all kind of nonsense. But let's talk about Devin Booker, 70-point uh, game, five 50-point games during his career. And on Friday, he added a 60-piece to the resume. Is that a pretty good so feel on most of them this year? That is not Devin Booker, but... Johnson up on Luka, down the lane. But Kenya, that's the play you were talking that's about. That's the play you were talking about, though, Kenya. Come on, man. <laughs> but, uh... 
So Book is averaging 51 points, five rebounds, and three assists in his last three games, but the Suns are one and two in that span. Mm. Where does D-Book rank amongst the best scorers in the NBA right now? The best scorers? Hmm. I mean, top five without thinking. Okay, he's top five. Okay. <laughs> you said the last three games? Yeah. Okay, three. what's Lucas last three games? What's Embiid's last three games? Right, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be 50 something too. Uh, Especially since she had 70. <laughs> <laughs> Still impressive. <Right. laughs> Still right. impressive. Yeah. But they won it. The, the biggest thing is they won it. 45 and 11 games. for Luca huh? in his last three games. 45 and 11. How about Embiid? Embiid. 45 and 11. Yeah, the fact that they <laughs> That's lost. That's impressive. Man, these 40, 45, 12, and 4. So not 50, but... And they cooking, cooking. They are cooking, though. And obviously, Book hasn't been asked to do, do as much with Bill and KD now in the mix, but when he turns <laughs> that thing on and gets it going, you think he's top five still? Of course. Easy? Easy. Mm-hmm. You're saying of all time? No, just, just, just right, right now. now. Oh, right now? Yeah. Yeah, when he got that, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. So he's currently 10th in the MVP ladder. Obviously, NBA releases their weekly... Uh, rankings, does D-Book deserve more love in the MVP race? Ten. Ten. <laughs> Ten is where they got him. Ten is where he's at. You agree? You agree with Yeah. That? I mean, okay. he's, he just said last three games. But for you say the last 33 games. <laughs> three. <laughs> just three. That three was a been... point of reference, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Lexi? Shit, I was... No, I'm just... <laughs> Lexi, Lexi, Lexi is three, if is... you're in the area... Please come get your arena back. Mm-hmm. But for a season, D-Book's 29, 7 assists, 5 <laughs> rebounds in, in the 37 games that he's played. What is he? Uh, he's after 29, 7 assists, 5 rebounds. <clears throat> What's their record? They are currently, I'm glad you asked, uh, yeah, maybe. 26 and 20, 6 in the West. Is it about winning? MVP. I mean, if you're averaging no, only 29, like we, we got to say only at this yeah, point. Yes. Only 29, in a world where we you say six. Tw- yeah, you're not even in the category. We, you no, know, I think it's just, hey, it's just about yeah, to your point, about he's 10. <laughs> yeah, he's 10. <laughs> Justified. Yeah. Well, right now, because of the record and what everybody, yeah. you got a few guys yeah. that's... Yeah. <clears throat> you know there's people out there averaging like 35 and they, yeah. they, they, they third and second and shit? Yeah, yeah it is. Like, where Tatum at? Yeah. I'm pretty sure Tatum averages about 29 and he's first. And he ain't in the yeah, he ain't even in the conversation. <laughs> he in the He's conversation. in the neighborhood. He's in the neighborhood. But in the last seven days, we've seen uh, two seventy pieces, two sixty pieces, four of the ten seventy point performances in NBA history have come in the past year, and it's got Hall of Famer Paul Pierce wondering what happened to the game he loves. So on Friday, he tweeted this: mm. "Damn, I miss defense in the NBA. Defense with a capital D." So Nuggets coach Mike Don't Malone echoed your lips. Hmm? I'm, I'm sorry. Nuggets yeah, coach Mike Malone echo, echoed those sentiments before the Sixers Nuggets game. Uh, he, he told us the following: He said, "There's no defense in the NBA anymore." Uh, adding that it's getting harder and harder to offend elite guys, and that rules favor offense. So let's play a game of facts uh, or cap. Who said this? The coach of the, the Nuggets, the, Mike Malone of the Nuggets, of the world champion, Randy, the world guy who Nuggets. is hard to guard. And he's eating everybody up, and he wants to complain about, oh, got it. Okay. So we're going to play a game of facts or crap. Sure, I'm going to ask you all a question, and you tell me if it's facts or if it's cap, okay? The NBA needs to bring back old school defensive rules. Facts or cap? Facts. Okay. And why is that? But you should, I ain't playing the NBA. I'm just what going rule? off of what but I you, want. you are a knowledgeable basketball expert, and you see the game. Yeah, I don't know about that. To me, when I when you say rule, I'm just talking. What I remember from from back in the day when when defense was like real, like there were moments you could you could just knock somebody on the ass. There was no foul call. Like you could guard somebody. You could get up in their space. There was not this. Now it's all about freedom of movement. You can't hand check. You can't put a hand. No, you shouldn't be able to hold them. But if I want to guard you and get in your space, I should be able to to, to touch you and be a little physical with you. So prison rules. I don't know. I ain't never been to prison, so. <laughs> right. yeah. They got no rules. No. <laughs> jail. But, but I, jail. I do. I, I, feel, I feel like it's... Prison and jail are not I, the same. I feel like it's gotten... Defense has gotten softer. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Kenyon, uh, NBA needs to bring back old school defensive rules. There? Facts. Huh? What you looking at over there? Mm. 
it's cap, but y'all know the way I feel about it, right? Because guys are really good right now, right, offensively. And no, I, I don't think it's, it's just individual pride, man. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's, like, it has nothing to do with schemes and all that at times, man. It's, it's just, it's individual pride. I, I, I'm, I go back to, like I was talking about the other day, about being up on the pick and roll and certain things like that. Dog. That just, that's knowledge of the game and individual pride. And you get that, the knowledge of the game by watching games and watching film and studying and shit and knowing guys, knowing guys' tendencies and, and, and habits because that's what it is. Just paying attention to shit. Small things that guy, it's, Tell signs with guys doing certain moves and certain, these guys are good. They working on the same moves every fucking time they're in the gym to perfect them. And they coming out here and they doing these same moves on y'all like they in the gym working out with nobody in front of them. Like they got the coach in there in front of them. That's why they guarding them in the NBA. Like this, <laughs> we working on our game in here and I'm going to come off, I'm a hezzy. I'm going left and the dude just standing there like he playing token defense on him and let him go left. Like it's just it's the constant same shit every uh, and nobody reach for the ball, nobody. It, it's little shit that I ain't asked for much. So you feel like guys aren't watching yeah, enough. Not, there's not enough film study going. They in the motherfucking at, in their apartment with their fucking VR headset on, <laughs> goddamn playing goddamn Call of Duty and all that other shit and yeah, Lord knows what else they doing, man. But they ain't they ain't paying attention to the game. They're too busy shooting threes and motherfucking euros and <laughs> all this fin- dumbass finishes that they never gonna get a chance to do in the game, right? Instead of working on foot drill speed, like foot speed drills and shit like that, and ladders and. Paying attention to if he got, oh, I got a guard in B, what is his favorite move? Or I got a guard, Jason Tatum, what does he really like to do? So I could, not, I'm not, I'm not going to stop him, but if he averaging 30, my goal, I'm, you're not scoring 30 tonight, bruh. You're just not. Like, I, I, what you, you're not getting your average. So <laughs> it's just, do you, that's my goal. Do, do you put any, any of the blame on the coaches? Because they don't demand it. They're not, they, they scared to go in the film section and roast one of the motherfuckers. Mm. Like, they're they, they uh, just depend, not going to do it. Depending on who it is. No, I don't give a fuck who it is. No, I'm saying with the coaches. It they're depends not, on who it yeah, is. But I, I don't think they put an emphasis on it. They, they, they're not a, a, a single individual film session if we went out there and we were bad defensively and there was a guy just constantly getting cooked, and I'm asking you questions and like, tell me what you, what the problem, why you did this, why you guarding it, like, and I'm focused in on you today. And motherfuckers around, they're like, shh. Hmm. Oh, ain't gonna be me tomorrow. Right, yeah? If somebody call you out in their way, right? Mm-hmm. And it's about effort and shit like that. And it's on film, and they slowing it down, and you're the focal point of this, this film session. You saying you got to cuss him out and do nothing, but you asking For questions, sure. and you making it. For sure. You making it a thing. Don't nobody else want that feeling in the room. I don't want to be called out, and I'm the only one that's getting it that day, when it's on the film that I was bad. Mm-hmm. And and we all see it. We all like. Eh. He was cooking your ass. Like, we probably, we like, we, that's what we thinking. <laughs> but, so, I know, because I know Gil's going to respond. So, do you think offense is that much better? It is. Or defense is that It's both. Bad? It's both. A hundred times better. It's both. Offense is offense is, better. Better. Offense is much better. Than, yeah, better. way better than it's ever been. Way better. Or individual players. Yes. Indiv- yeah, yeah, absolutely. Way better. Spacing. Guys, shooting, everything is way better offensive than it's ever been. I'm, I'm on that train. I'm on that train. I'm riding with everybody. The game has evolved. It, guys are much it better. It absolutely has. Guys are much better. They're taller, stronger, faster, jump higher. 
Okay. All these things exist with the game. Well, shouldn't that Nobody really benefit the defense. defensive side, it too, It should, though? because if you put the same effort into it, no. when does then you do your... But nobody wants to play okay. defense. Okay, how many, how many times effort. have we went to a gym or, or just a park mm -hmm. in, this, in this universe and we've seen defensive players out there working on their actual yeah. you defense? You don't. You don't, right? You don't. So because it's pride. If I'm a, if I'm a, think, yeah. So your pride, your pride is not gonna beat me if I'm spending hours every day in the summer. So if I'm spending a hundred hours in the summer working on my talent and my skill, your pride is meaningless. Uh, but, but because I, there's I'm nothing not you're stop. doing. No. Like I said, yours. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not. So so but, once again, I'm just gonna keep bringing it. I'm not saying guys are gonna stop these guys. Yeah. That that ain't what I'm asking. Uh, individual pride is... That means nothing. Yes, it does. But it does. The, okay. So, no, but it does. Uh, and and, so and if knowledge this was of the game, right? So it's the clip, so we're going to talk about it right now anyway. The other day, <laughs> we saw the Pat Beverly, Paul Reed clip, right? They playing Paul Reed back on the pick and roll, mm -hmm. right? Pat Bev like, no, I don't need you here. I need you here. Mm -hmm. I don't need you here. I need you here. That takes a little effort and, pro and knowledge of the game, like not mm -hmm. to be back on the mm -hmm. pick and roll, right? Mm -hmm. It's a different look. I ain't saying that I'm going to stop you from scoring, but I'm giving my effort and my, okay, I'm going to be up on the pick and roll now, mm -hmm. right? Instead of giving you this space where you got, you can go this way, you can snake the pick and roll, you can, there's less options if I'm up on the pick and roll. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. So and, that's, and, that's, and at, least, that's his, at least make it tougher. Yeah, and, 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 so, so that's that because you're so good, right? Mm -hmm. With the ball in your hand, I'm at your disposal, right? Mm -hmm. So my thing is in defensive being proactive instead of reactive. Mm -hmm. If I'm up on the pick and roll, I'm dictating the terms now on where you. That's it, a pick and roll, right? And, and that's what that's all, so in certain situations, but mm -hmm. one on one, guys is. ISO, right? Boom, boom, mm -hmm. going into your thing. I'm not going to sit back and watch you just play with the ball. Boom, 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 boom. Now you, right? I'm going to stick my hand in that motherfucker, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> you, your handle, you got, now you're going to have to, oh, shit, I can't cross this bitch no more right here. Mm -hmm. I made you do something. How many, right? how many? That's all I'm saying. How many elite defenders like yeah, you none. played yeah. in our era? Yeah. One or two? It's a few. Right, so that's one or two. So that means if it's if it's we're talking about elite in their position, mm -hmm. right? One or two or three in that power four position. Mm -hmm. That means the the rest mm -hmm. are just mediocre, right? Yeah. Same thing in guards. Mm -hmm. You probably have two or three guys that are elite. Other than that, the rest of you guys are trash in a sense individually. Yeah. So if we take every <clears throat> every generation, right? You have a guy that destroyed the league, right? You had a, a guy, a single guy mm -hmm. that there was nothing you did. He destroyed you guys. So Absolutely. when you say somebody like Allen Iverson, there was no one man that guarded Allen, True. right? So Allen, in the hardest of NBA defense, the early two, he's giving you 30, right? Mm -hmm. Now you look at the players on his team, their, their lack of skill actually helped the defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Their lack of skill. I don't need to guard you. I'm going to yeah. help him. We're yeah. All five of us is just going to look. Yeah. And he still walked through all of us. <laughs> right? Everybody's pride was there. He still walked through it. Now you add shooters on his team. How do you know you, everybody's pride was there? Because yeah, it's one guy. We don't have to. If we're going to win this game, if we can stop him. We didn't, these guys are not. They're, they're not in void. They're useless. Agree. Now when you add other players that can play basketball and score with Allen then it becomes unstoppable. That, that's what the game is like. Back when I played, you had two and a half scores. 80s, one and a half, mm -hmm. right? 90s, one and a half, or 90s, a full two. If you had a, if you had a full two guys who can score the ball, you was a, mm -hmm. you was a good team, right? In, a, in, in our era, two and a half. You got a guy, you got a, you got a 30 pointer or 19, and you got a guy who got 15, y'all got a good team. Mm -hmm. Now, if you got a guy like I had a big three where all of us was pretty good, then we got a little two, right? That little two kind of hurt us sometimes because nobody's guarding them to. Today's game, you got four guys who can put the ball in the basket. Yes. So it becomes harder on defensive schemes when you have more guys 
who can do the same thing. So if I do pass and you double me and I pass it and he can actually put the ball in the basket, the guy who's doubling starts like, ah, I can, I can, because I don't want my guy to outdo me. I agree with all of that, but I still go back to his point. And maybe it's because I'm just, I, just a little different when it comes to defense. I know you're like, your pride ain't gonna stop me. I don't disagree, I don't agree with that because I was, I was just that player that was like, listen, to his point, you gotta study the game. You gotta study your opponents, know what they like to do, where, even Luca, Luca has a weakness. What is it? If, you, if you're not watching film and you're not studying, you don't know that. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was all about, okay, this is who my matchup is going to be primarily tonight. I know what she does well. I know what she can't do. This is how I'm going to guard her. And after somebody gave me 20 points, I'm like, you know what? Nah. Because my pride won't let me live with somebody giving me 50. So what are you going to do? I'm going to make sure you don't get 21. <laughs> Wow. But my thing is, like, even, even you, you got six fouls, use them. So instead of him but having that's why they're shooting, that's why they're shooting, other night, that's why they're shooting 20 free throws also. But I, I, yeah, yeah. There, has to be, <laughs> there has to be a point where somebody says, I, I think right now the game has gotten to a point where we rely, guys rely so much on help. Help, help, help. So when, when are you going to have enough pride to get in front of your man and guard him one-on-one? Yeah, he's doing the same it's, moves. That, 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 that's, no doubt. That's, but that's the, that's, the, that's the... He ain't that quick. But that's I'm not, the, I'm not but saying it I'm wasn't saying, a great delusion. performance because it was yeah, a great absolutely, performance. Absolutely. It was a hell of a performance. But. But. <laughs> it's dilute, but that, what I'm saying is it's delusion. And you're making way too much money to not saying, have pride to guard somebody. Back in, well, back in the 90s, what was the offense compared to the defense? What, what 55, 45? Right, defense kind of right. You you had more defensive players than you did. You had offensive players back <laughs> when it started. Yeah, right, I mean, you, more you, offensive I mean. players started coming in. So, what changed in the defense of concepts since it was created? Nothing. Mm. Right below the free throw line, we're gonna push you over the pick and roll. We got the same. It's the same concepts we went through. Is the same, but the only thing. That's changed is the move. There's a hundred more moves that these guys have versus then. <laughs> but it's the same concepts of defense. So the defense of strategies has not evolved. So you still have the same. Back then, it was, you have a rock offense, I have a pistol. Yeah, I'm going to keep beating you in this war. Then you got a pistol, kind of even. Now you got a, a bazooka. Like, the, the, the defense is not equipped they have the same concept. Below the free throw line, we're gonna do this. Pick and roll, we're gonna, now, I mean, the only thing that came up now is switch. But there's nothing, there's no new concept of defense. So when offense is sitting there, you got your hand out here, all right, I'm gonna use that. They, they start giving the foul, then they say, okay, we're gonna take that away from you, right? All right, I'm pump fake you jump, I'm gonna jump into you. Then it's like, okay, offense, we're gonna take that away from you. Then it was, you're in the lane, I'm just gonna run into you. Then it was like, all right, just defense just jumped straight up. So the rules that they keep saying that they're, they're changing it because the offense is, remember the zero step? There was no year row. All mm -hmm. these new moves are, are for the defense. I'm watching how Kenyon plays defense. I'm watching Pat Bev does this. All right, so I get the train working on Pat Bev's mannerisms. Pat Bev is not working on my mannerisms in the summer on how to stop me. I remember what he did. I go into the summer, I do a whole game. Okay, when I go this way, he jumps like this. Okay, when he jumps like this, because he likes to lift off this arm, I'm a pump fake, get him off the ground. The offense is practicing. They're sitting with the rule book. All right, you know, if you dribble, you know, it's two steps after you dribble. Two steps after you dribble. <laughs> two steps after. All right, so if I dribble at the same time, that's a zero. Now I got two steps, so it looks like I have three, right? If I, if I dribble the ball, they say I can't palm it under. If I let it float while I'm going, it looks like a carry, but they said under. So I get to move with the ball. It, like you, we're, we're learning. We're, we're learning from the rule book. The defense is not. So, you know, take, take, the, take the Lakers, right? We take that Laker 
which was the first super team that I don't know why to use LeBron's team, but it was the Lakers 0304 team where you had Kobe, Shaq, Gary Payton, um, Carl Malone. Carl Malone, and then you had Devin George, right? <laughs> Devin George. <laughs> Ooh, I know who we're going to leave. <laughs> We're going to leave Devin George, right? We're going to leave Gary Payton. They can't shoot the ball. You have Kobe and Shaq, and, but these two can't actually shoot the ball. So I'm not picking Gary Payton up at the goddamn half court. The fuck are you going to do back there? I'm not picking Gary Payton up at the three-point line. What are you going to do there? Devin George, when he get the ball, back up. What are you going to do? Kobe Bryant was the only shooter, and he only made one three a game. Right? Other than that, everybody made under. So what we do is that we're just going to pack that. Say everybody, everybody guard Shaq. When Kobe just drives, we're just going to all be here. So, yeah, it looks like there's better defense because we're not guarding two of these players. No matter who you sub in. I don't know if that looks like it's better defense. It looks like it's smarter defense. Yeah, smarter. But now what happens, well, now what happens if you're so used to sitting in the lane Packing it up now, you got Dame Leonard who can shoot from the damn near half no, court. Then now you got to go. Then you have to switch up your defense. So that's what I'm saying. But but it's because you, not you in particular, but it's all it's because you know your personnel. You know who's coming in the game. You know what Devin Booker can do. You know what what Gary Payton can and can't do. You know what Paul George can do. Oh, so it's to his point again. A lot of the guys just are like, you know what. I'm going to just go out here, I'm going to play, and yeah. if I can they shut did. them down, I shut them down. If I don't, they I don't. They did like, that to y'all point, right? <laughs> they did Both, that then. Like to everything that we're saying here, right? <clears throat> I've always thought this in watching the Golden State Warriors play. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> before KD, when they started winning, before KD got there, after KD was there, right? Like I said the other day about Nurkis, right? He would, he would have to become Wilt Chamberlain mm -hmm. out that motherfucker. I've always thought it, right? Mm. Draymond would have to have, listen, Draymond would have been, if we was going to win it, mm -hmm. Draymond Green would have been the MVP of fucking four finals. <laughs> if I was playing, if I'm coaching the other team's defense, Draymond Green would have been MVP. God damn Draymond nice. He and that motherfucker just laying that bitch up. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going for none of them splits. I'm backing up all the way in the paint. I'm playing, listen, man, we switching all, we doing certain things, but I'm not guarding Draymond. If he get the ball to change his ways, I'm not guarding Draymond. He gonna have the wide open layups. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, walk to the basket, wide the fuck open layups. Just not gonna guard him in certain situations. Where's 30 coming off at? If I'm guarding Draymond, I'm gonna go find 30. Yeah. Then we're gonna be playing a boxing, listen, yeah. a boxing one out this bitch, triangle in two, <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna leave him open, unfortunately. But if you're giving up 60 points, you're still giving up 60 points. But the other dude ain't, to another no, but it ain't threes, though. But the, but the threes is what's the backbreakers in this shit. Right, when but Steph I'm get that take, thing going. I'm take my chances with right? that. When but Steph, get that, <laughs> when Steph get that thing going. I know it's gonna hurt. When so Clay it. get it going, Steph get it going, mm -hmm. that's what carried him, right? Yeah, but I'm, you're giving up 60 points still. It's just, and if Draymond get the ball at the top of the key, right? He he if Draymond bring the ball up the floor, right? Uh huh. He's getting the rebound. He bring that bit up the floor. I am turning my back on Draymond Green. Dang, I'm, just like that? I'm, that's just where I'm going to tell him I got to go guard. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to turn my back and I'm going to look for 30. But that's what I'm saying. But <laughs> that's all. No but doubt that's about that one. But back then, there was no Draymond Green bringing the ball up. It's not. I'm talking about like. No, I'm just, but I'm just saying in yeah, theory, no, there was no. Not at all. Horace Grant, like you power yeah. four. Mm. You ain't got to worry about that, no Horace Grant. <laughs> yes. Horace Grant ain't doing Office nothing like rebound, that. Offensive rebound. You're going to knock down two, three, <laughs> fifteen. Dennis Rodman ain't coming down the court trying to make offense. Yeah, not at all. Bring your dumb ass down here with your booty shorts. Let's play some defense. So, Gil, the NBA needing to bring back old school defensive rules, facts or cap? It's cap. Cap. It's cap. I, because we don't know what we don't know what those rules are, okay. right? Like, okay, if defense was so good back then, how come when you look at the top scoring teams, it's all back then? Yeah. When you're talking about scoring 125 a game and all, that's back then. That's not today. That's back then. Teams the you Denver said scoring 125 points a game. Yeah. 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 So out of the so top, so teams aren't scoring 100. No, they are. Points a game okay, today? so out of a, out of the top 20, uh, out of the top 20 all-time scoring teams, there's not. You got 17 from 1960, so 15, 14. I don't know. 14. 
14 teams from the 60s, and then four from the 80s, one from the 90s. The, the, there's two right now that are active, and that's today's team is uh, Pacers, Pacers and the Bucks. And the Bucks. <laughs> Today, that means last year, no. Yeah, it it, no. So the two teams this year are breaking the top 20. Mm. Other than that, it's yeah. back then. And the problem, the thunder in the mix as well. The th and the problem with this is... They were putting that bitch in the basket. When was the three-point line created? 79-80, uh, I believe it was in. 79-80. Mm. So that means teams that were scoring 125 in the 60s and the 70s are all late. What the fuck was the defense? Yes. If I can score 125 points uh, on two, late. Twos and free throws. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, that, that's why I said the, the theory of what they no, said. There were, there were great offensive players back then. There was no pride? Nice. There was a pride. They, they had pride. Pro, but was there, was a, there was great offensive players back then, too. No, but, but you couldn't stop the one dude that's trying to score 30. You, like, he's, I'm, you know where he's coming. There's no three point line. Hey. <laughs> Oscar, Oscar Robertson <laughs> and Alexander was we, we just gonna wall up everybody. <laughs> but then, like to the old school rules, like the hand check and all that shit. Like you can still do certain things. Like yeah. you just can't leave your hand on the motherfucker. That's all. He bring yeah. the ball up the court. I can motherfucker. I can. I just can't leave my hand on you. But that's what I said. It, the, the the hand check is still there. I'm the, gonna make you turn your back. The hand check is still there. See, the the, the thing about it, if you watch '80s basketball, if you actually watch it, and then you say, "All right, I'm gonna look for hand checking." You will not see the hand check that they have in their mind, mm -hmm. right? You're gonna see Mark Jackson get hand checked because he's coming down. Him, he's coming down the court with his back because he couldn't burn. But you know, him him I'm just gonna come goes. down. So he, all right, where you, where you going? But back then, when you have a five man, right? Think about it. Five man, I have to pass the ball to the five. So that means I got to come to the side. Obviously, most of the right-handers want this side, so I got to sit here, and then he's pressuring me. Now I got to turn my back. Now he got the hand check. He want to keep me in the corner, right? They got to, the, the shooting guard got to go set a pick. <laughs> he got to come on over. I got to dump it on down. Like, <laughs> obviously, you can control me because I got to wait for all this shit to happen. And I can't, I can't drive because I got to give the ball to the five men. Oh, shit. That was easier <laughs> to do versus, think about it, where was the hand check when Isaiah Thomas was playing? It's Same hand, but he, he didn't have a five-man to pass it to. He's coming downhill. You can't hand check somebody who's Not facing you, right? <laughs> then when Evolution and those guards, the Tim Hardaways, the Penny Hard, once they started scoring, the Allen Iverson, the hand check was irrelevant because these guys didn't have five men. That... So when you go below the free throw line, they still got a hand check. Yeah. Below the free throw line, there's still a hand check. This shit, get back. <laughs> <laughs> just swipe this shit off. Just swipe this fuck out there. <laughs> okay, think about it. If you come in full speed at me and I tried to, I tried to hand check you like this, you're gonna run right through that. And that's a you might break, you might break my wrist. No, that's a fire. Right. Sure. And so that's that's why I really didn't mean anything. Only thing that happened is as soon as you get by me and I'm just gonna. Did you say that's a foul? You run full speed or somebody? You, full, you run the full speed. Oh, it should be. Yeah, I'm break your wrist. So you're going to, ah, and then you're going to try to hold on me on the side. And then if, you, if I have a big Kenyan, you ready? Hey, Kenyan, you ready? Ready? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Charge. That's, so. <laughs> Offensive so, foul. So when it well, comes to me. the NBA needing to bring back old school defensive <laughs> rules, survey says. Stop the cap. All right, let's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take no charges. <laughs> let's keep this. You take this shit. <laughs> took my last, let's talk about another big <laughs> story. <laughs> took my last real charge in college. Now, <laughs> <laughs> this shit hurt. Dislocated my jaw. No oh, but after that, okay. who, who ran into you? Shit. Okay. Dude, man, Chris Owens, we from, from Dallas, big motherfucker. Oh, you big, okay. right? So, week and a half ago, Embiid and Jokic faced off for the first time this season. Embiid won the battle with 41, 10 dimes, and seven boards, and, and a Sixers win. All eyes were on the rematch this past Saturday, but 15 minutes before the game, Embiid was a late scratch with a lingering knee injury. And when he finally came out of the locker room for the fourth quarter, the Nuggets fans let him know about it. <laughs> um, Turn that up. Turn that up. Hey, shout out to Embiid for embracing the moment and still trolling. Despite not playing the game. So after the game, Mike Malone wanted some answers on why Embiid did not play. Mike Malone. I don't know how you go from being active, available, 
to out. And I'm sure the league will do their due diligence and because that's frowned upon. And we've had situations this year where we've talked to the league and they told us if a player goes from being active to out, there's going to be an investigation. So, you know, I'm sure that'll happen. And, and I'm sure that Joel hurt his, he hurt his knee in the Indiana game. Like, it's real. I, we watched the game. He hurt his knee in that Indiana game. So I'm sure he is hurt, but... Uh, Mike Malone with some textbook dry snitching. Uh, so according to Shams, the NBA is expected to investigate the Sixers' decision to sit out Embiid in the game. But it should also be noted that Embiid is out tonight against the Blazers with that same... What the fuck does he care for? He want, the, he want to see the matchup just like everybody like, else, like, Gil. No, I agree. Man, fuck that. Like, are you trying to win a game or not? Like, It means more to him. No, what I'm no, saying I'm is, if, I mean, you're a I coach, and the guy's best player is not playing. Why the fuck do you, are you so concerned? That, that's an that. easier win for you. Shut the fuck up and just play the game win and keep it moving. Oh, yeah, we, why ain't MB playing? <laughs> Because I, 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 I wanted to make the game a little bit harder for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? Fuck. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you're the last <laughs> person that shit. Uh, so, I didn't understand that one. Yeah, you know, hey, look. These coaches, he, man, he, just, you know. I Cheryl's not showing up today. We mad. <laughs> Sure, sure, I would be, I would be hurt. I, like, I, I know whoever right. had the garbage was like, who? I, I would wonder. Like, I understand the fans, right? I embrace fans that challenge. Fans want to see the matchup, but for the coach to be like, so why should. didn't he play? <laughs> so according to Shams, the NBA is expected to investigate the Sixers' decision to sit out and beat in the game. But Embiid is six and two in his career versus Jokic, but only one and one in the games played in Denver. But Embiid has dominated the head-to-head -head matchup. Oh, shout out to our, our, our productions here for this nice infographic. How about that? Beat leading in wins, averaging nearly uh, five more or more than five points per game, more than a rebound. Joker's averaging two and a half assists more, but Embiid leading wow. steals and blocks. So when they have played against each other, yeah. So <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> But, but this is Embiid's fourth straight season, not playing in Denver. Uh, hasn't played there since November 2019. And Embiid now can only wow. miss, if he misses the game tonight, five more games to remain eligible for MVP. He ain't ducking Joe, um, fucking Nicola. Shit, he ducking at altitude. That's what I was going to say. That altitude is something yeah. else, though, right? He ducking at goddamn altitude out there, bitch, man. That's what like, I, want, I wanted to ask. Hey. You played in Denver. Uh, obviously, you played with the Nets, so you played a different team. Yeah. What's it like having to go to Denver and play in that altitude? And is that something that you would consider ducking? Oh, them burning lungs having to play that it's one like game out there. Motherfucker, oh, mouth extra dry or watery, <laughs> one of the two. It's going to be one of the two. And your motherfucker, you, gonna be, you ain't going to have no control over it. It's going to be run out the side of your shit, and your shit going to be dry as a motherfucker. And he's known notorious for his, his shit be motherfucking talk white out there. Demoisturized. Oh, yeah, Tyrone Biggum. Oh, that shit brutal, bro. <laughs> that, I mean, that hey, first quarter. <laughs> nigga, I remember we, we, one year we was playing the Bulls, and was he, no, he might have been with the Knicks then. <laughs> like Eddie Curry. <clears throat> Listen, bro. Furs. It was one of them games where there wasn't no whistles or nothing to fur <laughs> before the timeout. Listen, man. <laughs> And something happened to the clock or something in here, man. We was about a free throw line. I said, nigga, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boy, yeah. deep ones, too. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting ready to call the train out there, be like, hey, man, you probably want to bring that defibrillator because he's going to oh go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Everybody had asthma. Give me, give me, oh, give me his inhaler. I need, I need some new oh air. Who number on this bitch? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, you, you got players who ain't even on asthma just taking it in there. <laughs> That's your shit. There you go. Yeah, he passing that bitch around like it's a blunt. <laughs> Nigga passing inhaler around on the bitch like it's a blunt. Like, like, come on, man. Like, yo. Oh my god. I played. I, you trust stupid. me. We we knew it too, boy. Oh certain people god. coming in there like, mm -hmm. hey. Run them. Yeah, run them. All that run them shit, yeah. So it's real. Competitive advantage having to play out there, right? You know, it's real. Seven years. Hell yeah. This shit did, real, Jack. It's did, real. Did you enjoy seeing dudes try to come oh, in? Oh, struggle. It? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Man, to be on the... Dudes be praying there's a foul or something early. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, we playing fast in them. We running. 
And oh. so, yeah, you, you better, you better be ready. And 12 to the 9, you be hoping that some fouls happen. Yeah. If that's not, that's real. three that minutes that of just straight real. running. Yeah. Oh, God. So do y'all have any issue with oh. Embiid skipping those games in Denver <laughs> and not giving the fans what they want to see? Like, How do you feel the league feels about not getting that rematch? How do you feel the, the league feels? Not getting that rematch, Embiid versus Joker. Fans saying he's ducking them. Do you agree? I'm not a Denver. I'm not a Denver. Do you fan. think Embiid is Ducky Joker as as the namesake of Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy? Woof woof. <laughs> is he duck? What, what is he ducking? He's done whooped his ass every time he played. 50, 48. Whoops. I mean, <laughs> what is he ducking? What? Like I said, he ain't he's done whooped his ass every single time. I mean, it, maybe it's it's legit. They play Maybe it. it's I mean, the outfit. It, 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 yeah. Telling all that shit. So I'll play you, Joker, just not in that 52 yeah, yeah. Just not that 52 He didn't do that. Listen, he, he played that bitch in 2019. He realized, like, <laughs> not never again. <laughs> get get hey. it closer. Get that out hey. closer to zero, and I'm I'm down he to go do all you want. He didn't do this shit for Joker. He did this oh shit for God. Prime. <laughs> When Prime came in there and, and told him stop ducking, made him look bad yeah, in front did. of the, the world. He did. I hope you got tickets. Yeah. He did. Uh huh. You got Prime got tickets. All right, oh I'm out. <laughs> Why do that to Coach Prime, Gil? Uh huh. You made me look bad. You made me look bad. <laughs> Man just got a house from his kids. He's feeling good. He want to come to the Nuggets game. You made, and see me look, you made me look bad in front of the world. Said I was ducking. Cool. All right. I hope you got your yeah. ticket front row. I'm out. But then back to Michael Malone, right? You say what you say about him not playing, but then you double, then you negate your statement by saying, "But he did hurt his knee against right. Indiana." Right. He was hurt. Like we watched the game. We watched the game. He did hurt his <laughs> knee against Indiana. Like yeah, he twisted his fucking knee. He didn't come out the game, mm -hmm. but he did something to his knee. But <sighs> but you still like yeah, he contradict, he contradict, you contradict you yourself like yeah, yeah. So obviously elevation in a mile high city, fifty two eighty around. Fifty two eighty, baby, mile high. Uh, Philly, about 39 feet. So. About, <laughs> you know, one year we went to Pueblo, Colorado, which is like higher. Higher than the yeah. training camp? Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah, we went. Yeah, Cheers. We, <laughs> <laughs> it's real. That joint train, yeah. We was in the mountain. We was by New Mexico. It was, I swear, listen, it was, I didn't see now. But I'm pretty positive there were at least 200 meth labs around that bitch somewhere. <laughs> 200? Yeah. Damn, Damn, I ain't see it, but I... Yeah, easily. You yeah. You just, I, so, you know, you can look at the area, you'd be like, yeah, they cooking meth around this yeah. bitch. Yeah. yeah, there's going to be a whole lot, of, <laughs> a whole lot of white people right. on the sidewalk with no teeth. Y'all know, it's just the area gave that vibe. Man, you watching people walk around, those shoes on and shit. I was like... Mm -hmm. Fidgety. Yeah, I'm, yeah, they definitely cooking it out here. It was so, gloomy out there, yeah, this is, too. This is the capital right here. Yeah, this is definitely, this is where they make it. a few times I wanted to quit. Col training in Colorado Springs. Yeah. With the Olympic team, mm -hmm. I was like, nah. Mm -hmm. Is it that why they go to Colorado? Yeah. For the altitude? That's where we trained in 95. Yeah. They still yeah, do? US, yeah. But it, was it because of the that? USA facility out there. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. First time but I we went out in, there was in we college. Were, we were in good shape. <laughs> So, but, Gil, tell the truth. Did you ever duck anybody when you were in the league, and did you ever feel like anybody was ducking you? Did I duck? We have tape, Gil, so I'm giving yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> I mean, the second, the second leading scorer in my position was Mike James. <laughs> Mike James and Mike Bibby. What the hell I'm ducking them you for? You said the second? Who was the first? Me. Oh, my bad. Yeah, hey, girl, you better stop. So, you're, 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 embracing, you're embracing all challenges. Yeah, the worst of the worst, he gonna give me 20? <laughs> They <laughs> gonna give me 20? 20 on all jumpers? Mike James ain't going to the basket? Sure, Bibby ain't going to the basket? Did you ever feel like anybody was ducking you during your career? No. Tell, you can tell. This no, is Gil's Arena. I, I, I don't. Three time MV, it said three time no, MVP. I don't. I, no, I so, don't. So, go on, say it. I who was ducking? But three time defensive player of the year, I feel who, like, ooh, ooh, who, hand me. Uh, yeah, who was sick? Who was sick more than they should be? <laughs> Who was sick more than they should have been? I really don't. But also, our season was so short. You know? I mean, yeah. it was three months, so... Mm -mm. No, I didn't. You know, there's no tendencies? No, just... Yeah. You know. Damn, every, you every, time like, every time we play... Every time we play, I ain't... Yeah, we, <laughs> Damn, you out of here? <laughs> Man, in fourth year straight, I, I ain't really see you. No, I don't. I, mm -mm. And Kane, did you feel like anybody was ever ducking you while know. you were... 
Could have been. I have no idea. Yeah, we I was dug saying, it, we, but, I, yeah, but I never no, really even thought about that. But I was dug in him. It's called jump shots. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpers. Yeah, we <laughs> took the shit out of Kenya. Jump shots. He about to send my shit to the moon and. Give it back. Me not. Hey, my patrol that man. Yeah, shoot these jumpers. <laughs> shoot these jumpers and these floaters. Yeah, no, I wanted everybody to play, though. That's my thing. Like, I don't want you not to play. So how do you feel about this situation? Like, I want him off with NBA. And, and yeah, I would have been. If as I'm a joking, fan, right? As a basketball nah, fan. No, nah, not a fan. I'm a competitor. But now, I'm saying now. As a, I'm still a fucking competitor. Okay. <laughs> like, as a competitor. <laughs> I'm saying as a competitor, like, I want you to play. I just who I am. I want you to play. I don't. I want everybody to be whole. And I think 100%. that's the. I think that the problem with him is him who uh, Embiid. I'm sore, <laughs> and I'm not playing you sore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't want to give you 38 and 20. I want to yeah. give you. I want to give you 40 and 50 every time. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, I ain't see, I'll see you next year. I only got 30 in me tonight. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm I, ain't, good. I ain't whole on his legs. Uh -huh. so yeah. yeah. I yeah. see you next year. God damn it. No, who I, we playing against? That's true. Huh? Who we playing against? Yeah. Next. Uh, he's well, missing the game against the Blazers, so. Yeah, he played Portland tonight. He's uh, out. Supposedly he'll miss that game. Shh, he's they play Golden State after that. Does that, oh, that he, mean he actually but he, hurt? But they he play Golden State after that. But he kind of has to. And they play Golden State after that. But he didn't play last. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. He's you know? he's pushing it, bro. Yeah. Oh, he ain't gonna make it. No, nah, you push it. Oh, for the MVP? Yeah, you push it. Yeah, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be some fuck shit. They gonna have a decision to make. Like you said, they gonna do it this they year. Gotta, they, they better stand on their business. That'd be some. That they gotta stand on their business. They gonna have to. At least gotta, this year. Yeah, they gonna have to stand on no business. Doubt. Hey, no doubt. you out? Cause right now he won't get. That means he's not gonna get scoring title. Right. He can get that. No, he can't. You he just didn't. can't get the the award. Postseason award. Post I don't know. Yeah. Awards. To all NBA. Yeah, you can't NBA say if the nigga average 37. No, no, nigga, I average 30. <laughs> I average more points than everybody, the motherfucker. It's yeah. my scoring title. Yeah, yeah he can get, get the that. scoring title? Yeah, he just can't win no postseason awards. And it is. Like first season. You don't. No, first team. First team? MVP. Uh, MVP, them, them he drugs. Can't, he can't All that happens. Get third, that. second, third, like he them drugs. So to qualify for the that. scoring title, a player must uh, appear in at least 58 out of 18. Okay. It's a little bit more wiggle room. Yeah. Okay. I think he'll hit that threshold. He'll get that, but that's oh, five. It's getting close. That it's is getting... crazy. That is crazy. You did all How many games work. has he missed? Uh, he's five, I think, with 13 now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, whatever it that's is. That's crazy. You get and you can miss what? Up to 17, so Ooh. 65 out of 82. So 13, and if he misses tonight, yeah. five. He's down to five. No, he's down to five. So he's down to five. Okay. He'd be down to five. Like, I'm, I'm, and he, mm. it was a possible, yeah. You did all this work to mm -hmm. give it to somebody else that's mm -hmm. not even close. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just open the door for somebody else. Damn. Right? So let's. Now, now the conversation mm. really switches. If he just say if he get, it does get to that, the, mm -hmm. up to that threshold. Mm. Now, it really opens it up for. I mean, Joke, I'm pretty sure Joke is not gonna mind getting it. Cause motherfucker, that, the one you got is mine anyway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no Let matter how we back. do this, guys. Let God me get that it. back. No matter how we do this. Yeah, that one's just, mine. Yeah. I, I need that one. We're yeah, just gonna just, switch the years uh, yeah. on it. Just switch the years. I'll I send you your, I send, I send you this template, you send me that one, and yeah, I know this is yours. Yeah, you, yeah, you play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all. We just swap it out. <laughs> yeah. 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 Send me that, yeah. Uh, what, what was that word you was using before? On the points? Oh, the true. True, true stats, true, 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 true. Yeah, stats. we'll have untrue three P. Untrue. Untrue three P on MVP. MVP. An, an acceptable analytic used by squares far and wide so they could participate in the basketball conversation. But let's move to another convo. Uh, the LeBron Steph rivalry added another chapter on Saturday as the Lakers and Warriors met in the Bay on primetime and gave fans arguably the best game in the entire league this season. So we got some highlights. As we tend to do. LeBron James, 39 years old. Give, it's so nice to see LeBron give himself buckets. There was a time he was a little shaky when 30 was guarding. He, yeah, Steph doing his thing as well. Steph came through with 46 and 7 dimes, including the go ahead three in overtime uh, from a questionable screen from Draymond. Mm. That Did his thing at double OT. LeBron messed around, dropped a triple double, 36, 20 rebounds, 12 dimes. But most importantly, nobody back there. That one. As we'll That's see right here. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody back yeah. there. And they, they haven't historically been giving LeBron that foul, but him stepping in the free throw line, knocking down two free throws in the bay. 
the spoil. Just say San Francisco. Curry, <laughs> don't, don't, uh, San Francisco is not the bait. They'll rob you. San Francisco just as easy as they'll rob you. Oh, that shit was online. <laughs> What a performance. What if he made that bitch? Hey, it, it, it was. It was. He would have been goaded. It was. Oh, he's was the greatest of all time. That shit was online. Then. So after the game, LeBron and Steph uh, shared a moment, and the Legend Z was kind enough to transcribe it for us. <laughs> and right after... Yeah, rip his jersey, you know. <laughs> Super street. So, Super street. Been a lot of trash games this season, but there's a lot of trash games every season. But how much do games like this mean for the league? For the league? Just for the, for the game. Fans for the no, game, for fans, the, just... Okay, you, are you going to stop I mean, questioning like, me? Or are we going to bring it No, I'm just saying, like, you, you're you wording. Like, the league, like, why do you fuck with the... <laughs> Adam said we're trying to get this bread deal so we can... And as a subsidiary that Gills Arena presented by... I mean, for the... I mean, benefits off a of good basketball. The average, more than the average fan wants... They, they'd rather watch games like this every single time. For sure. Right? Nobody want to watch a blowout, right? You, you, you want your team to win, but you wanted to win in this fashion... So as a fan, these are the kind of games that we all get <clears throat> excited for, you know, because we, we get to feel like we're a part of it. Yeah. Well, and not to mention the fact that, yeah, it's the Lakers and Golden State, but it's, it's Steph and LeBron, mm -hmm. right? Like, that, that's what people want to talk about, and that's what people want to see. And this was one of those games I was, like, sitting there on seeing people on Twitter. They're like, let's go to three overtimes. Mm -hmm. And it was. I, I think this is, this is great for the league to answer your your question. Thank you, I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, you are. Gil does what he wants to do. You're a great guest. Okay. We will keep bringing you on oh. to bring balance to the force. <laughs> Can you just as a basketball fan seeing games like this? I know you've seen a lot of basketball in your life. How much does it mean to you now, post career, just to be able to watch? Damn, nigga, you act like I'm motherfucking 85. <laughs> That's <what> I mean. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Here you go. Y'all got it. Fuck. Yeah. Man, you no, can have a conversation because these but are But no, I hear so, so I feel like so, we're all, like, no, we've no, seen a lot about ball in our career. Even in our age now, we're able to watch these games and still <laughs> so appreciate it. You act like I'm 85. Yeah. Like, we're not, you know, no, no, so, still great looking, still thriving. So I was at a wake on Saturday, right? Um, I didn't. Like, I did not know that. R.I.P. Bryce, man. Um, but um, the fellas that was there, they were Lakers fans, right? Mm -hmm. We had to wake and they watching their, like they watching on their phones. Like everybody like they, they surrounded by one, okay. and they just watching the game. You know what I'm saying no, no, it was it was a celebration, but everybody was watching the game because, like you just hear like the excitement and everybody mm -hmm. oh 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 like I was over to the side. I was mm -hmm. I, I hear him, but I, I don't really know. I can watch it later, but I'm just just to hear it like how they were so into it. And as the average fan, man, oh, the game needs this. It's for legacy, um, for the history of the game that go down to one of the greater games. Um, so, yeah, no, nah, it's good for the game. It's good for the league. Uh, it's, it's good basketball to watch, mm -hmm. man. They have two greats out there um, who we all know, first ballot Hall of Famers, um, for them to keep battling throughout this, this duration that they have been. Yeah. You know, and to be able to, to be around to, to see it and appreciate it. Like, uh, appreciate greatness. Mm -hmm. that's what, uh, like, and that's what we witnessed with that. You appreciating guys making game winning plays and and showing people that I'm saying that people still still care about the end result. Oh, for sure, and that's what that was about, man. And then to see Steph's reaction after, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you know tell you everything so. that you need to know about mm -hmm. him and how 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 this rivalry yeah. is and how he care about winning and and certain things, man. So yeah. no, that was it was good to see. Was I mean, good to see. This rivalry's been going on for nearly a decade now. Obviously, they don't play the same position, but we've got to see them go at each other. Uh, where does the LeBron Steph rivalry rank all time? You said it that because they don't play the same position, it's kind of hard to really rank the two versus each other. Yeah. Because you know they they're 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 being great, you know, at the same time playing different positions, and I think that's what makes this game so so amazing because. 
both the people that everyone came to see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are playing very well. Mm -hmm. they're, they're doing whatever it takes to win. And that's why sometimes when referees kick out the best player, this is what you take away from. Yeah. You take away from this, the yeah. moment that we got to see, you know, Steph hitting his threes, his dagger threes, LeBron getting to the, we miss that. Yep. Um, where does it rank? But we talk about Larry Bird and Magic also didn't play the same positions, but. Well, okay, oh, hold on. This stuff, goddamn, Josiah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not coming for me today. The, what, the, I'm, I'm still getting a check. The question of that whole era, the, whole, the question of that is, why the fuck weren't they actually, they were both small forwards. <laughs> they were both small forwards in a sense, but they never really... was compared to each other on the small forward side, and which is weird because they were both small forwards. One was a, a, a small forward PG, one was a straight small forward. But talking about the mother, defensive side, yeah, yeah. yeah, but they were both small forwards. It's not like, you know, he was guarding the point guard. He was guarding, it was mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. whatever. But, um, I, I mean, it's not, it's not a... For me, it's not MJ, a top. MJ, Isaiah, Bird, Isaiah, I mean, but you can go but to it's not a top, it's not a top five rivalry for me. I mean, I still think got... Brown and Steph not top five. No. Okay. I mean, Rashid versus the refs. <laughs> still oh. number one? Um, you know, uh, Chris Paul versus Rondo. <laughs> Chris Paul versus Scott Foster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Draymond versus fucking everybody at this point. Yeah. Don't do that. I'm just... Uh, Don't do that. Yeah, but I think it's good because the finals <laughs> match ups and... What's up there? But it was a nice mid-off, though, this game. You know, both, both the teams are struggling. Mm -hmm. Joel yeah. versus Denver. I mean, it's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of rivalries Joel out there. Joel versus Coach Malone. <laughs> so you, you mentioned Draymond. Draymond was being Draymond as usual. Uh, and the antics were on full display on national TV. We got a few of them here uh, late in the fourth quarter. Yeah, <laughs> but the I'm best part, too, the best part, he told yes, me, he absolutely. Told and I out. said the same thing when I saw it. What? Which part? The okay. Vanderbilt motherfucker. No, no, fuck all of it. A bar review. I no, no, but that's listen, not a but, 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 but yeah, okay, listen. Okay, yeah. stop, stop, stop the bullshit. He's <laughs> just stop the bullshit. <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, everybody saw I hit the motherfucker in his face. It was a fucking accident. It was. So the, no Vanderbilt. No, no. So Vanderbilt, like he called me old bitch ass nigga. This nigga. I know I saw Asking for a fucking review. <laughs> nigga, shut up. <laughs> like, you trying to get me suspended again, I nigga. Like, it. that's uh, what Draymond it. thinking. Like, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, LeBron also asked for the review. But no, but he wasn't that's adamant, but yeah. he didn't see him. He looked he at Vanderbilt. Like, no, what I'm saying is, LeBron can see him. Vanderbilt all the way at the other end, so he can't see that he no, got Yeah, him. like, and you animated about it. Like, you walk from this end, doing, keep doing the shit. But listen, like, man, shut your listen, bitch ass up. Man, Ben, ben <laughs> Whole ass nigga, man. Yeah. Can't stand niggas like that, man. Think, but Vanderbilt doing it and LeBron doing that is very different. Yeah, you might as well. It's very different. You might as well that went over there and be like, ooh, 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 ooh he hit him in his up. face. Yeah. He hit him in his face. Yo, this it. Ooh, he ooh. Like, that's very, what he should have went and did. All in the club family, though. Yeah. That's all. That's like, that's basically yeah. what the fuck he doing in that moment. Like, you like you fucking, you tattletale ass nigga. Trying to get and, me pitched. And, and man, no I can't doubt. be mad at Ben. He gave us 14 and 9. Thank you. I was still questioning why he was in at the end of the game. Snitch ass nigga. He had 14 and 9. So, you know, I gotta give me. He was feeling himself. You know, he's probably, yeah, he was probably. Because when I saw him doing it, I, th I thought the exact same yeah, thing yeah. that Draymond said to him. You bitch ass yeah. nigga, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, shut your ass up, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm just not getting it. It was an accident. It was an accident. Like, I didn't try to hit him, and of course, it's gonna be what it is. Yeah. Because it's Draymond. It's Draymond. And you yeah. and you putting sauce, you adding fuel on it, dude. Yeah. But even like, even like that, like if they would have called a, uh, if they would have called like a fragrance or something, they would have been wrong because he had the ball here and moved it. Right. He's going. He's going for the ball. Yeah. He's going for yeah. the ball. Yeah. And this and, 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 and therefore, ball. I'm going for and you doing all this extra, like, dude. <laughs> comp uh, like you say you're a competitor, Kane, as a competitor. No, we'll dude. Win. Still, we we all they they blew the whistle, man. We need this win, though. They was gonna get uh, still, no, yeah, I, I, I don't. Like hey, that. now I need to question. I'm not gonna question him right now because he's balling. 
D. Davis. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to question him right now. Ooh. Not right now. Yeah. Because he's balling. But if that motherfucker fall on the ground uh -uh. and grab some uh -uh. shit, right, uh -uh. I'm pissed. Because we just seen you get hit in the face and you took it when it shoots some fucking free throws, right? It was cool. Took it like I don't want to see you fall and start grabbing shit no more, all right? You just got hit in the face and it looked like it hurt, right? And you walked on down there and shot your free throw. So I don't want to see... No, I, I don't want to see I, all no, this. Let's, let's, let's I didn't be think honest. he was coming let's, back in the game, though. But, but, but let's be honest. Do, do, do the shit actually. when he got yeah, hurt yeah, he and got... the way he was walking off to the back, like, I, I thought he was done. Yeah. yeah. Like, when he came it, back does it, does it actually in the hurt? game. Yeah. Huh? huh? When you get hit in the game, does it actually hurt? When you get hit in the game? Yeah. Depends on where you get hit at. Depends on who you get hit by. Man, where you get hit and who you get hit by. Man, listen. I get hit by Steve Kerr. No, that shit don't hurt. I get hit by you, yeah. Depends on what Steve Kerr. Get his ass out of here. <laughs> He's a <Yeah>. violent one. <laughs> Get him out. <laughs> yeah, I know what Van was doing. <laughs> Shit, there's a minute left, and King is out here still. Dog. Get him out. <laughs> so it's the end of the game, dog. He's so like, <laughs> like, it's the end of the game. If it's the first quarter, you, had, I, I, I would have gave him a little more leeway. Uh -huh. Dude. I just don't do you are you know my you, reputation out here though. But like, you, you just said you took a charge yeah. and you got hit yeah. in the shit mm -hmm. and you never took a charge again. And not a real so yes, it hurts. Not a real one. <laughs> not a real one. <laughs> but it yeah. really hurts. Certain Sometimes, things after yeah. But that, yeah, I got Who yeah. hits you that where one? you get hit? Yeah. yeah. Most of the most but of that, 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 no, hurt. that, no, that no, didn't hurt. That didn't hurt. Yeah. Some of them dudes get hit like that all the time and they oh, 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 falling out and shit like that. Hell yeah. You swipe by me. Oh. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna call it. All right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you ain't gonna call it. You gonna try to get okay. it the first on it? Nah, all right. He didn't get you, Gil. But like, I'm standing yeah. right here. <laughs> Referee be like, Nah, he didn't get you. Look at that. Hey, that that swipe up and you woo, oh, I almost got me. Oh Anthony no. Davis didn't even react to it until after he saw Vanderbilt do it on his. Then all of a sudden he Ooh. was like, yeah. oh, Shit. You know what I'm like, yeah. nah, he didn't. No, he didn't that that rivals the, with the pom poms with Kendrick Perk. I mean, yeah, man, it's that, dog. It's, like, but that, on, that's what makes you but appreciate you know Draymond. Like, as yeah, because it comes from a play like you know my reputation out here. Yeah. You're like mm -hmm. you know what the lead, what people think <laughs> about me are. Like, so I got a problem with people like that. Like yeah. you, no, don't do that, dog. Yeah. Like, don't add nothing. I'm already, I'm, <laughs> I'm, all like, I'm hanging on by a thread out this bitch. <laughs> like I'm hang, like I do. I just lost two, three million. Mm-hmm. And you out here asking for a fucking review because I hit him, dude. Yeah. No, <laughs> bitch. Like exactly what you got called in the moment. What you was acting like. He on the wanted list. <laughs> I'm on the wanted list, goddamn it. Yeah, I know. I'm number one suspect right now. You over here trying to get me fined and kicked yeah, out. Like we playing motherfucking, uh, fucking B Scott. Like we. Yeah. Loose ball. I go up. I hit Melvin Eli in the face. They don't call him during the game, but I got him good. Like it was a good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I hit because he he just grabbed me in the moment, but they got on the bus after the fight and he got he was in pain, so he's screaming and shit, right? So come to find out, I cracked his orbital bone. Mm. Out. Which I felt bad. I like I it was a mistake. These motherfuckers called the league, dog. We let we had, we was back to back. We got on the plane, and went to San Antonio. Nigga, I'm getting ready to go to the game. I'm getting dressed in the hotel. Oh uh, yeah, we got a call. Yeah, you been suspended for tonight's game. <laughs> you snitch ass motherfuckers. <laughs> like the league didn't see nothing in that moment. Mm -hmm. They didn't call nothing in the moment. Yeah. So they sent the tape in. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like they did Odo. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't gonna be hitting shit once once the league get a hold of this tape. Yeah. <laughs> Chauncey, damn. Yeah. Listen, my van, hey, van, we good. We good right now. 14 9, bring that energy. Four and seven, bring that energy. <laughs> no three, yes sir. <laughs> Back door slicing and cutting, boy. You my you my dog right now, baby. Prince, you can take your motherfucker zero somewhere else. Oh, twenty something zero. Two shots. You gave up? <laughs> Fuck you giving up for? <laughs> you think I went into a game thinking I'm going to make my first two? Hell no. Nah. I just got, I got 18 more loaded. <laughs> Damn it. I hate when I hate when you just give up. <laughs> that means if you make your first one, that means you're going to shoot some more. Right? I don't like 50% players. I call people like that 50%, right? Like them high and low type of dudes, right? They're hitting shots. They hype like a mug. Mm. When they're missing shots, you don't. And I'm like, well, shit, damn near 
50% of your games, you're not going to make the first shot. Mm. So that means if you're not going to make the first shot, it's a bad game for you? Should I, I always think I'm about to start 0-3. 0-3, 3-3, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 3-10, 
Yeah. Right? He got yeah. voted as a starter. Take that away. 2001, take that away. Or the 2002, the 2003, take both those away because he wasn't better than Paul Pierce and those guys those years. Right? So we're going to take what the fans vote for and then switch it. All the history that, that was calculated has to be... What was the reason behind switching it? Because <clears throat> I don't so know It's that. weighted, basically. So 50% fan vote, 25% mm -hmm. yeah. player, 25% media. So fan vote counts for 50%. But, but then what was the reason? Yeah, what was the reason? reason. For who, Be Steph? Because, no, what was no, the reason for the league it? switching? Because, uh, because, uh, like, because involving the motherfuckers who shouldn't be voting on it. Yeah. Because, because, fan, <laughs> because some of those years where somebody didn't play, but they had this big fan... Yeah. Support got but, voted in, you know, a couple of years with I Vince think, Carter. Yeah, bring bring fans, balance to the smaller the, market players, right? You play in a, a major market, odds are you're going to have a, a heavier skew of fans. But fan you still voting. got fans, though. Yeah, it's I, fa I, I, what, I don't, I don't fan, agree with I'm just telling you. It's fan, like. And it's an all star game. Like, it's, it's, like <laughs> to me, St Steph Curry is. Yeah, he, like, he is an all star game. Do you know what I mean? Like, people want to see. He's a big draw. Yeah, he is. That one's that one's kind of crazy to me. Yeah. But, but that's what I'm saying. It's popularity. That was that is the point of my greatness. My greatness has me like this. When we say small market, get your weight up. LeBron was in a small market. That's fair. Get your fucking weight up. That no. is the point of longevity. He should be on this team, dog. No, now, no, that I'm, but, now that I'm looking at it, let me see him start. But, that, like, I'm, but I'm, I'm looking at. I ain't even looking at the names. I'm looking at the picture. <laughs> right. I'm looking at the picture of the West. Wow. Right. Wow, he deserves to be on that picture. Yeah, every, right, and that's the part. Everybody else yes. on the, everybody yeah, here he won it. their votes, but Steph. Yeah. I mean, Steph won his vote. He's the only one yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I, I tell you, I take back what I said. He deserved yeah. to be on here, dog. I mean, look, it's, look, it's having a great year, but he's still, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, but like it's 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 a fan wow. vote, right? The the coaches, the coaches, you vote SGA in like you do everybody, right? When Kobe got his first All Star in '98, right? Take that away. Right? He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't an all-star. The fans voted him in, so he gets an all-star. Shit, the 2014, he didn't earn that one. 2016, he didn't earn that one. So those are three all-stars. So if you're going to start doing that, because there, there could be a situation, that, let's say you're a fan favorite, right? And, you know, like some, something happened at the, towards the end of people's careers, right? They're still being voted in. Mm -hmm. And like Charles Barkley, where he averaged fucking, what, 19 and 7 and started over Carmelo, who was averaging damn near 30, right? Now, what happens is if you take me out of the starting lineup and you put this guy in because of how he's playing, like, okay, I won't make the reserve because of my stats any fucking way. So I got voted as an all-star, but not an all-star anymore. Hmm. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's happened in the past, and that's what I'm saying. You, that's crazy. These guys with these 14, 15, 16 all-star votes, and I mean, all-star uh, all appearances, when in reality, you only got 11. You know, when Vince Carter was, you know, didn't, didn't play half those years, you know, one of those years, he, he could have been. I mean, it. if you're going to do that for an all-star game, let's talk about postseason awards. Who's voting on that? I'm just saying. <laughs> shit, I mean, I wish. I mean, I wish that shit would be honest. I mean, low key, I wish it was in when I played. Wow. Because I was a one time All Star, but the two times that I, I was a uh, what's the name in, I was better than Grant Hill, and Vince that year because I was an All NBA player. They wasn't, right? Both years. So one year would have been me and Dwayne Wade, hmm. not Vince and Grant. Right. The, the next year, same thing. I didn't get voted in. I didn't even make it in the reserves. But the fact that I was averaging 29 and we was fifth, I'd have been subbed in as a starter over the guys that. So you can see it both ways. Yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying. But that's not the way history was done. And that's what I'm saying. You're, yeah. you're altering it. I, I, don't, I don't like when, you alt, when something's been established and you alter it. And then when you look back, like even with the centers, yeah. right? Sinners averaging 12 and, 13, 12 and 7, and they're starting an all-star game, and then you take that away from these new sinners and say, yeah, we're going to bunch you guys up as front court players. Like, nah, dog. I was by myself in my center. It was just me and him. <laughs> just us two, year after year. What happened to that shit? Shaq, we already Shaq and knew. Yao. Shaq and Yao, that's it. Yeah. Shaq and Yao, who going to be starting, who going to be coming off the bench? Right, so to be that third guy, it was so hard. 
it was so hard to crack between those two, and then eventually it's like, all right, Shaq and Yao, y'all gotta, y'all gotta go in there with KG and Duncan now. Like, oh shit. <laughs> that means whoever that third center was, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yeah, they done switched the format on you. That's the only thing I don't. That's, like cool. That's the only thing I don't like about it. So let's talk a little bit about some other news uh, going down to All-Star Weekend. Uh, three-point champion Steph Curry and Sabrina Inescu will square off in a three-point competition in All-Star Weekend. Inescu set the three-point record at the WNBA All-Star Weekend last July, 37 out of a possible 40 points. She went 25 of 27 in the shots made. So, Cheryl, I'm going to start with you. Who's, who's winning that competition, Steph or Sabrina? Oh, um, I'm a huge Steph Curry fan. I am. But I got to roll with Sabrina. Okay. She do hold the record. I'm just saying. Record for what? The three-point competition, most points. In this current new format with all the mm-hmm. starry balls and all that other good stuff going on. She shot the lights out. I'm just saying. What line are they shooting from again? Because yeah, I know they ain't shooting from our line, the NBA line. Okay. Or y'all right. aren't shooting from our line. Oh, so you're going to put Curry at the... So I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> so you're going to put Curry Sabri- close? Sabrina can shoot from the NBA line. <clears throat> she ain't going to have no record. <laughs> <laughs> she might. Uh, yeah, Curry going to blow I don't know out. the rule. What I, line I, are they shooting from? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. They, they, she, are they gonna, she should shoot from the WNBA three-point line. Steph should shoot from the NBA three-point line. She should use the WNBA ball. Steph should use the NBA ball. I think that's... But wasn't it Steph that... <laughs> tweeted something that said... They had him mic'd up, and it may or may not have been... Uh, he was mic'd up before a game yeah. and uh, kind of did this whole thing. It was Gil's Arena shootout. They seen, you know... They, they saw the they, shootout. They seen, Le- they seen Lexi out there. They saw how Lexi shot uh, better than him. Yep, they seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Age of 12. Uh, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay. So, okay. so is it just going to be them two? Not really sure how it's going to break down. Uh, well, they're All-Star allow. Weekend has been a little mid. Different. Yeah, for for past well, few years. They're trying to change so. it up. They're trying to spice things up a little I, bit. I can ask this. I mean, hopefully, Underdog has the higher lowers cracking. I, I'm just saying, just just hear me out. So she can come to our three point contest, right, and then try to get a win. Can we go to theirs? Yeah, we we will see. You know, play time like yeah. I want I want to get in on this one. <laughs> we don't really have All Star Weekend. Though. Damn, Joanna Clay. <laughs> So we don't have an all-star yeah, weekend yeah, yeah. like that. We, are, we have all-star day, pretty much. It was turned up in Vegas. It's a Friday. Vegas was turned up. But it also depends on where the all-star <laughs> game is. Yeah, it was just like a, t- just it, a random when it was Tuesday. In Vegas, Vegas was nice. But some of the other cities, it's, it's, it's different. So it's just random WMA Tuesday. all-star is very different from NBA all-star. We've had a game on like, Tuesday, I don't know, Wednesday. like a Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> It's comical. Like, I did the same thing. I was like, how the hell do we have an all-star day? Yo. And it's in the summer. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You yeah, your right hand is during the summer. It was, you don't, yeah, you don't get to laugh like that. It's, it's, during, summer, <laughs> it's during summer league. They had it on. It was right before. It was right after summer league, right? I think the the final weekend of summer league. During, yeah. yeah. Oh, they, they, they said no, they need to have it right in the but, but I will say, but Vegas... Where like that there. whole organization and and yeah. they do it right. So when it was in Vegas, it was exactly. good. Like Phoenix, Phoenix this Wednesday. year. We did like one time. It was like a Wednesday. Like nobody showed up. Like even former players didn't show up because that's that's like that real. That's a joke to me. Yeah, you should have it definitely on the weekend. So Sad. Phoenix this Sad. year. Are you looking forward to Phoenix? Solid weather. What day is it? <laughs> Hopefully it's a Saturday. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seriously. Look, hold on. We're gonna see. Let me check. I don't even know. Saturday, July 20th. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Am I looking forward to it? I ha- haven't made any plans. What time? 6 a.m.? They 7 better have you four side. I'm just saying. I'm oh, saying. Okay. Fucking tip. Four side VIP. Tip. Ooh. 8 a.m. Four side VIP. They got the game at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Feed on the no quarter if you want. Let you get some jumpers up if you feel the need. If you feel so inclined. <laughs> Is that just a standard? Sorry, dude. My... I apologize. It's been a rough day for me today. I'm trying to get it back. No, I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> I'm just saying. Just WNBA All Star is just different. I'm just telling you, it's not like NBA All Star. So okay. L- last year was probably the first year that, like, you know, they actually took care of former players, where we got to sit courtside. 
Because so you, oh, you saying it from that standpoint? Yeah. So things I'm saying are basic have been complex. <laughs> Yes. Okay. He's the basic I thought you was, thought you was no, mad at me. That's, no, I'm, I'm just thought, thinking like, you, like you know, right. It if should, I'm organizing, it, it should just happen. But it did. Do you want to get some jumpers like though? Hold on, time out. For what? Just to see if For that what? if that thing's still thing. Oh, it's still thing. Okay. That ain't <laughs> never your question. I don't even need to practice. So, but yeah. are you are you appreciating the I'm way that that thing? No, 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 I'm just saying. I thought my thing was. I thought my thing was thing too. I know. I know. I know. But oh my god. But forgot to turn the heat on up in there. Are you at least appreciative to see the changes that are being made? Because I think that's been a big issue in recent years. Absolutely. To now, like, all right, we're finally starting to show the love. That is pretty, you know. No doubt. Seems pretty Cook basic, enough. but it, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's that's what. <laughs> what's the funny? I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I know dudes would be mad, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if some of the WNBA girls actually competed. In the the NBA three point contest. If y'all I mean, don't have one, shit, come on down in. They would make it exciting. Yeah, they would. We it would. we had teams. one. Teams. I think last oh, year was is, the first year. Ooh, teams. They used to do that at NBA All Star though. Do you remember? Team three point like the real. It was three like the the Not that um, it was the skills stuff. No. No at NBA All Star when they brought a WNBA player, a current oh and a legend. NBA player and a legend NBA player. And they played like and there three was like on three. A shoot. No, it was like a shooting contest. Oh yeah. They, oh, they stopped had doing it. Yeah, it. yeah, they had it. We'll get it back. So let's move to the women's it's side. A great idea. We have royalty here with us. Sure, uh, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, team shootout. Yeah, it's a great idea. So there was a battle in the Bayou Thursday night. Uh, top seed of South Carolina took on defending champion LSU. South Carolina won the game, and women's basketball won the night. Uh, the numbers came back in, so the South Carolina LSU game Crazy. beat the NBA in head-to-head -head viewership on Thursday. It's the night's most watched sporting event on TV. So, sure. what does it mean to you to see how much the women's game has grown in the past few decades, especially the past few years now, booting the NBA out the paint? Well, first, first of all, I, I don't... Like, when you look at the comparison, right, and you see that the South Carolina game outdrew... South Carolina LSU outdrew the NBA. Like, yeah, you look at those numbers and people are like, oh, my God, this is great. But I'm like, like why do we even have to make that comparison? Okay. First of all, like... Good basketball is good basketball. And that South Carolina LSU game was probably one of the best games I've seen in a very long time. Mm -hmm. And that, that's period, right? And then, then you have the Golden State, Golden State Lakers game, but that was a good game too. Um, for me, I, I think it, the fact that people are talking about it and not just women's basketball, not just women, like, like we're talking about it. To me, it just shows how far the game has come, how far the game has grown, and like it's good, it's exciting. And like, like I know when people talk about the NBA and, and they talk about men's basketball, a lot of it is like shit talking. Like that happens in women's basketball too. And people like to see that. I think so many times people look at women and they see us playing and they're like, oh, they're so nice and they're so sweet. Did you watch that game? Because what not nice and sweet about that game. Is, is that because of the WNBA tries to control the narrative on how much trash talking you guys? I don't, I don't, I'll be honest with you. I don't, I don't know. But I do think there's, there's just this perception or misconception of, of like who, who we are just as, as women. Like I like to compete. I'm a lot like Kenyon. Like just because I'm retired, don't mean I don't compete anymore, mm -hmm. right? Like I, like I'm gonna talk shit to you, and and it happens. That's part to me. That's part of sports. It doesn't matter if you're a man, if you're a woman. That's part of sports. But I, I thought watching this South Carolina LSU game, I think there were people who tuned in that have probably never really watched a women's game before, mm -hmm. and to see that, I, th I think was really really good for the game. The pettiness is OD and inspiring. I'm just saying the way the stage. In that now, game, it was? I'm, what was. What was petty about? No, I'm just saying, like, but you see it in the league. There was too. a lot of pettiness yeah, in that but, game. But a lot of petty, but yeah, I just want just, to know what you thought just it was. The, I mean, the stare down, the Andrew Reese getting stared down, you know, but going back at each other. And for me, just to be able to watch that, like, I'm a fan of just good entertainment. Yeah. And I think on that side, the entertainment value is very, very high. I even watching the tournament last year and just, whatever, it was Caitlin Clark going to Angel, whatever it may be, like, you know, Don Staley saying, oh, they, they call me boo. Yeah, I'll tell you, for me, yeah, the game was entertaining. But, like, to see what Don 
has done, what she continues to do for, for the game, for women, for black women. Like her being in the position she's in and like Don is just real. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know if you, like you said, I don't know if you listened to the press conference or not, but they were like, the reporter was like, they weren't very nice to you. And Don was like, actually, they were calling me boo. <laughs> Like, I don't know if a lot of people understood that, mm -hmm. yeah. but I was like, like, like Dawn is just good for the culture. And to see what she's done and, and her story and where she's come from and now to be in a position where she can actually mentor these young women and, and, and change, the, change their lives, right? And really put our game at a, at a place where, like really, it's never really been before. And you have so many people talking about it and, and getting behind it. Like Dawn, Dawn has been a huge part of the growth of, of our game in the last few years. And she got South Carolina, she got South Carolina rocking that thing. So top ranked team in the country. Does anybody smoke want smoke? That nigga. Huh? <laughs> some smoke for Don stuff. <laughs> We see, I don't like some Thank fifteen, you. twenty thousand dollar dropping gems over there, nigga. Fifteen to twenty thousand dollar pants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wear, I wear basic. You shorts. saw that too. I'm just saying, you know. My, what I mean? my, 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 my you know I'm, I'm not in that price point, but I appreciate <laughs> high quality fashion, really stunning, in Baton Rouge on Kim Mulkey and them, because Kim Mulkey be trying to rock some fits too, but I'm not really feeling her. That ain't my. That ain't yeah. my. It's, not. It's, it's for her. It ain't for me. Don't like. So let, let me put this out there. I'm, I'm a fan of good basketball, period. But there are also teams and people that I pull extra hard for. And, and Don is one of those people, because we have a history, right? Played together in the WNBA for a couple of years, played together Olympic teams. So for me to not want to see my sister like be great, and yes, I wanted them to win, but I wanted a good game. Yeah. And, you know, it was just good to see. Like, Dawn was so cool and calm on the sideline, and I was in front of the TV telling her what to do. I was like, Dawn, mm -hmm. here's my question. Did you watch the game? Mm -mm. Did you watch the game? I watched the game. Did you watch the game? I did not. I was. Here's my question. Even if you didn't watch it, you can answer this. If Angel Reese doesn't foul out, does South Carolina win the game? Because somebody asked me that. So I'm asking you. I don't deal with hypotheticals. Yeah. I... I would gravitate towards that she would have brought some energy and maybe helped them get back over the top. Obviously, they tricked that lead late mm -hmm. in the game. Maybe, but I don't know. Like, again, like, it sounds great to put that squad out there, but LSU's kind of had some issues this year anyway, so I don't think it's a given. That's what I said. I, I, don't, I don't think that particular play when she fouled out lost the game, right? There was so much other stuff that happened in the game that I felt like... I, I don't even feel like they lost the game. I feel like South Carolina won. Mm -hmm. Like they made big plays, especially Bree Hall at the end. Like she hadn't shot the ball well the whole game. Mm -hmm. And to come in and hit three threes in a row, like it was just good. God, it was good. No. It was good. Do you do you think the individual personalities in college is what's getting everybody excited versus, you know, like some of like like some of the things like you got Andrew you know yeah. Reese is yeah. he's a personality yeah right and yeah you have Dan, uh, uh, Caitlin Clark you got her and her shooting right so do you think it's that that what's making everybody gravitate to it then you have the great play I do right I do because people want to see that and people also want to know that like like there's a connection there right that they they can relate like Caitlin Clark is absolutely what one of the best shooters that I've, I've seen in college. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say ever, but that I've seen in college. And then, yes, you have Angel Reese. When you say she's a personality, Angel is Angel and people, you either love her or you hate her, mm -hmm. right? But Angel is gonna be Angel. So I do think because they show that, they're not afraid to show that, people see it and they're like, okay, let, let, let me tune in a little bit and see what, what this is all about. But, but, I think, but I think that helps our game. I don't think it hurts it at all. And I, and I, like, like with the W, um, it's like it seems like they, because, you, know, you know, I follow a lot of them on uh, mm -hmm. IG, and when their season's over with, that's when yep. you see the personalities. Yep. When they're beefing about yep. overseas, and I crossed your ass over, yep. and they're sitting there going back and forth, and that's hilarious. I'm like, where's this during the season? So we can see this, and it's like, yep. you're more down, you know, because you're, was it, kids and family friend, friendly league? 
you know? And I'm like... That's what they say. If, if, the, <laughs> if they look at the algorithm and just stats, the most iconic moment, I'm sorry to say it, but it was when... Um, the Vegas girls, right? Uh, Who, Olsen. Asians? Sydney. Olsen, yeah. Sydney and... Um, Asia? Asia was on the bench. And coaches oh, coming yeah. by and yeah, 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 yeah. that was the most yeah. viewed thing. To be, yeah. Like you got to see them do something besides. <laughs> like you got to see a personality and, and everybody thought but that was But you see fun. that on the, on the men's side all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's very rare. I, I, I don't know. It, it kind of <clears throat> boggles my mind why, why we, we feel like, or they, but why we feel like we have to be a certain way during the season when we're playing mm -hmm. and not not really be who we are. Mm -hmm. Like not allow people to see that side. Yeah. I, I don't I don't understand it, so I can't answer that question yeah. for you. That just caught it. Boom. Hey, right. Coach Leaves. Ah. <laughs> well, and what happened to Elbow? I think, think Asia elbowed Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Like, coach coming, coach coming. coming. Uh-huh, coach coming. And they both were like. Yeah, as soon as she leaves. <laughs> hey, like it's like, like that's real. Like yeah. that's yeah. a real emotion. Yeah. And it got caught and that just I mean, it that is. was that was iconic. Just I mean, it was iconic because it's like everybody, we we get it. Cause when coach comes, you shut the fuck up and then yeah. we leave, we back at that's it. That's what everybody does. And it's like we never see you in that type of environment. It's always Studious for some reason. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Most, most women basketball yeah, is fine. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand that. Because it's because they 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 push to, they attract like it's yeah, families. They're to, yeah, they're trying to sell to a certain. But why is it wrong for families people. to see that? It's not right. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's like even even like Draymond Green, right? When he was like, uh, "Shut your bitch ass up," right? We can we can hear it. All hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can hear it. And then it was another game where it was. Who got fouled? I don't know if it was Trey, uh, no, Melo. The Melo got hit, and him and somebody was going oh, at it. Uh, Whitmore. Yeah. Whitmore, and you, I don't know what, I can't remember what he said, but it was like, ooh. Very, very <laughs> intense language. Yeah, but, huh? Soft ass. Soft ass, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I do, ooh, I can't think turn that down. <laughs> it, I think some of it is, to, to your point, right, like, like it's, Family friendly kids are coming, and, and and that's happening because the tickets are more affordable mm -hmm. than to take an entire family to an NBA game, right? But I do think it's trying to portray this image of, oh, look how sweet our players are, mm -hmm. when when reality is, like, I'll say when I played, and even now. Like, it's a lot of them, like, I don't, I don't rock with you like that, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, like, I'm not going to pretend like, oh, my God, look, you just elbowed me in my nose and that's okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, because it's not okay. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's still the case today. Like, there are players in the mm -hmm. league that are like, no, I don't rock with you like that. So, like, I don't like you, you don't like me, that's cool. But let's not... Act like we love each other because the cameras are on. Yeah, let's get the mics on. I want to put the mics on. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to hear everything. Yeah, come on. Let's get these reins up. Did you hear what she called it? Tune in next it's game. True. No, it's true. It's true. Like, because that happened with that happened in college last year with with Angel and Caitlin. Yeah, like I, that's all this, you know. That's what I'm right? saying. It's like Woody, and what? that became a storyline, and everybody was like, "Oh my God!" She's not supposed to do that. Did you see that? that? Did you see but that? That's what I'm she saying. It's like a lady. Yeah. Yeah. So show sportsmanship yeah. and his man. <laughs> be a gracious winner and oh man, shut, shut up. up. <laughs> yeah. You ain't never won shit before yeah. in your life. That's true. You ain't never competed before in your that's, life. That's just like the yeah, whole that's what they want. shaking stuff. Yeah. Like they you just beat be. me. I do not want to go through a line and shake your head. Yeah, they trying to portray and, this thing. And like, even before a game, you're like a I'm trying to beat you. You're I don't want to. But that's what I said. Where's the well, like? They're not doing your research. Like the W, y'all not doing the research on what's what view, what is selling, right? If something happens in your game to the point where it goes viral, what do you think happens the next time those two entities play? It's true. <gasps> yeah. Get some. Like when yeah. Draymond Green came back. Yeah. When he plays, um, 
If he plays Timberwolves again. Minnesota, absolutely. View is going to be a see. We want to see if a no, part two no. going to happen. There's, there's a reason why South Carolina LSU drew 1.5 right. million viewers. Mm -hmm. Right? Not to mention the fact that South Carolina is the only undefeated Division I team in women's basketball right now. But there's a whole storyline with Angel Reese and Kim and even and Kim Mulkey and, mm -hmm. and, and all the stuff that's going on with LSU this season and, and what Don's doing. So people are like, you know what? I've heard about this and I've heard about this. I'm going to tune in so I can watch yeah. and see what happens. You know? So when you look at uh, Kaylin Clark and what she's doing now on the verge of breaking Kelsey Plum's record, Obviously, generational college basketball career. How do you think her game will translate to the W? So that, that's a two-part question for me. Because I, I say this, yes, records are made and set to be broken. But if you're going to break a record, this isn't just for Caitlin, but you asked me about Caitlin. If you're going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time that that player set it. Okay. In, right? So if, if Kelsey Plum set that record in four years, mm -hmm. well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year, and then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. So is it truly a broken record? I, I don't you, know. You think, you think exactly how I... I don't I think, think so, but yeah, that'll go in the record books as... Caitlin Clark is the all-time, whatever it is. I don't even know what the number is, but that's the way it'll be. And, and I don't think it should be. And, and, and the sad part is that record would never be broke because no one's There'll never be another COVID year. COVID well, year. Well, COVID we wouldn't not, have, there's right? never going to be a, probably another five or six years you can play in college sports. Yeah. Right? And that's, the, that's <laughs> the thing about it, right? Like, it should be a whole separate entity. Right, like this record is this record yeah. because of five years, or it has a fifth year. So whoever's playing five years, y'all in this lane, right? The re it's not, normal is here. Yeah, and it's not to take anything away from what she's done, but if you're talking about breaking records, then this is if this player did it in this amount of time, then you should do it in that same amount of time. So. That's my thought on that. This, this is not NBA, folks. We're not talking about NBA where you, you play 10 years and I play 20 years. That's not the same. This is, we can only play four years, right? If we there five years, God damn it, we redshirted. Well, we're not allowed to play. Yeah, and there's no so stats. In the COVID yeah. year, all COVID of year I get to play different. and like, yeah. oh, COVID happened. I'm going to come back next year and I'm the well, same breed. Here's the other thing. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but you averaged 35 last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to average 35 again. <laughs> because to your point, here's the other thing. So she can come back another year. She See, has another year where she could come back. She doesn't have to go, like she doesn't. So have what to year leave. is this for her? So this is her. This is her. She's a senior. She's a senior, but shh, I think I think her COVID year was last year or this year. I don't know. She I can just, come back another year. I just year know some of those had chances of playing so six years. I'm but, like, but let's also crazy. talk about. Um, how much more experience that gives you over other players coming in, right? So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them. But you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them. Because yeah. you've been doing it a lot longer than they have. Yeah. So I'm not sure. But I know she can come back another year. Yeah, this is her, her fourth season, though, so she would be... Oh, she'd be legit. A season oh, she, she can just come back one more year if she decided to. Yes, so that, that would be her COVID year. Okay. And, so, and so she has said she doesn't know if she's leaving or if she's coming back. Okay. So, so to okay, your so, next... So these stats matter. That, that next year's stat, that should just be like, we don't even count That's these. true. That is true. Yeah, yeah, I think she, that she, is she's true. supposed to get it by some, some point in early February that based on her current projection. And which she... She probably will, yeah. because she like she can shoot the basketball, no doubt about it. So here, here's my question, and I, and I'm gonna or my answer to your question: How will that translate to the to the WNBA? So be before I answer that, I'm gonna go back to something I said before when you asked me the same thing about Angel. And so what I had said was, I, I think Angel will eventually be a good pro. I don't think Angel will come into the league immediately and dominate the way people think she will. And I say that 
for people who have never watched a WNBA game. It's good. Like there's talent. Like these women can play. And because there are very few roster spots. Like it's a real job. Mm -hmm. So people look at new players coming in, whether that's out of college, players who've been overseas, mm -hmm. and they look at that and say, oh, you trying to come take my job. Like, no, nah, it's not going to be that easy. So will Caitlin Clark be a good pro? Absolutely. Will Caitlin Clark come into the WNBA and do what she's doing right now? Immediately? Absolutely not. Not going to happen. Okay. Not on the right team? Like one of them bottom, bottom, bottom feeding teams that... Uh... So, 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 so to, to answer that question, Caitlin Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I know you like that. Hell yeah. I said that because when she comes to the league, regardless of what team she goes to that has vets on that team, mm. she probably ain't going to get 40 shots a game. Or y'all don't get to, st they don't get to stand on a number one? I said she, she, she might, but I don't, I'm... I'm number one pick. I'm, this is my team. They don't, saying, get to, oh, they don't get to do that over there, huh? See, that's that NBA shit, huh? <laughs> and here's the other, but here's the other thing that I know you don't want to talk about is the defense. Oh, yeah, y'all. No, no, I'm just... Like, you got to guard somebody. You, you got to guard somebody. But from, from even, even the, the worst team in the WNBA right now, there's talent on that roster. You know, and so there's a lot of talent coming in, and it's, it's tough. Like, it's so tough to make a WNBA roster, roster. spot. Like, in some cases, even the, the player that was drafted fifth didn't make a WNBA team this year. So I, I, do, think, I do think those two <laughs> players not only will, will get there, well, they will be hell of a WNBA players. They will get there. But more than that, their popularity, I think, will absolutely be good for the league and, and bring in fans that the league hasn't had before. And that is something that the league needs right now. Yeah. Sounds good. So before, we'll put, before we move on to yeah. mostly fans, earlier in the show, uh, we were talking about uh, Men to Society referencing a clip in the movie. Can yeah. You use some language that oh, some yeah, of our viewers yeah, may not yeah, feel is appropriate. Movie quotes. Anytime I say something on here, man, I ain't got no problem with nobody, man. Listen, right. let's just get this out there. I ain't got no problem with no, no people whatsoever. Anytime I quote a movie, it's quotable from movies, man. Okay. So I made a quote up by chance say? here. About the quote from, from Menace of Society and... The, oh, but they yeah. thought you were talking about, like, yeah, ability? Yeah, no, no. Just whatever it is, just... just yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Just a just quote from a movie, man. It's, it's like, a anytime I, I watch a lot of movies, man. I've <laughs> said many quotes on this show before, and I'm continuing to quote movies, man. So I ain't got no problem with nobody, man. I ain't seen that movie nobody. ever. Uh, whatsoever. But okay. uh, who, the chat was... No, just... Chat was snitching? I don't know, but just... Y'all in here snitching? Oh, they banned the building it. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, 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 yeah, that was all long, We was talking along those lines. We were yeah, talking yeah. about yeah, a thing from the movie. About snitching and Chauncey sending the tape in and what he called him. Yeah, no problem with nobody, man. <laughs> whatsoever. Line man. from a movie. <laughs> yes. We're not here to offend anybody. Yeah, not at all. We love everybody at Gills Arena. I don't know. I be trying to offend people. I don't. You do. Uh, yeah, me. I be yeah, trying. I, <laughs> well, certain things, absolutely. But other times, yeah, this is not one of them. No, we ain't. Nah, it's, I ain't yeah, it's definitely not one of those moments. So, again, we apologize yeah. to anybody who's offended by wow. it. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Nah, ain't no. Who calls Who texts y'all? Is it in the group text? I don't know if it's hey, in the group. Let's move on to mostly fans now. I don't know if it's in the group. Or not, but. Yeah, look at that. Look at. Oh. Yeah, see? But, oh, good. But, yeah, it's, it's, but again, now nah, I can't. Movie quotables. Quite in the movie. We yeah, appreciate that's... you for acknowledging that, though. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on to mostly fans. Like I said, if anybody was offended, my apologies. Not nobody's intentions. Not especially not mine, man. Offend nobody. Hmm. So. First question is from a mostly fan user by the name of Jackson Door. <laughs> and it's I can tell you, if I say something, I'm not apologizing. They can just, you know, y'all can text all y'all want. I'm not apologizing for nothing. 
We have a video question. <laughs> Never done. I've been canceled. What up, Lexi's Arena crew? I had a question. Since Gil brought in all of, I mean, Agent 12 brought in all of Jordan's memorabilia this past week, I was curious, what's everyone's favorite piece of memorabilia they have, either of themselves, like their game-worn stuff, or someone else since Gil? Since, Gil, you said you got one from everyone after the game, I'm curious what was the hardest one to get for you. Thanks, guys. Love. That's, this might be the second uh, white person we've got to submit a mostly fans to the show. Oh, so. you can't say white. <laughs> okay, you can. You got to say Caucasian. You got to. Oh, I don't know if you can say Caucasian. Uh, <laughs> so, you got to say human. <laughs> what's, what's your favorite? What's your favorite piece? Of, what's your favorite piece of memorabilia that you want? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh shit! I mean, the, I mean, looking now, right? What's so funny is thinking about it now, I guess the Jordan stuff is because that was his last uniform mm. he ever put on as a as a basketball player. And, you know, warm-up suit, practice suit, that's it, right? Uh, he can't come back, and we know that now. He can't come back, so that's that's it. Um, Dang, that's so how much tough. we selling that for at Sotheby's? Give nah. a little, give, nah. five minutes. I, I, okay, personally, my, per, my, my, my personal favorite will be Penny Hardaway. Um, Penny Hardaway wore the all white um, mm. phone posits at a game. Right? They wasn't actually out. They were just, he was just wearing them. And um, I hit him up and said, yo, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> Can I get those? Right? And he signed them and sent them to me. How about that? And then, and then eventually, like a, a year later, they actually started releasing them. But the ones he wore, that was my favorite player growing up, so. Okay. Pennywise? Yeah. Sure, what's your favorite piece of memorabilia that you own? Okay, I thought you were going to say the sign shirt um, hoop jersey that's now made as well. You know, I, I kept trying to I, send them that way. I'm trying. <laughs> Didn't go there. Um, fall for it. Dang. I have two. Can I have two? Yeah, you can have as many as you want. Because okay. that's hard. Um, my first one would be a signed photo of me and Barack Obama. First black president ever. Only. Um, only, I know. But <laughs> I know, I said ever. But, oh, yes. Mm, anyway. Um, <laughs> and there ain't gonna be no more, huh? <laughs> no, ever. Probably not. <laughs> probably not, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I'll see. Um, <laughs> I was trying to keep it. I was I'm trying to put it out there, though. But and my Hall of Fame ring. Okay, baller. No, but That's the Hall of Fame. Because I worked my I mean, ass off for it. Yeah. So, yeah, That's, that that would be it. Okay, how about yourself? What's your favorite piece of memorabilia that you own, or someone else's that you have in your possession? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my high school diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? That's an important achievement. Oh, shit. Important accomplishment. Like, motherfucker, listen. boy. Hey, listen, Jack. They didn't expect me to get out of high school. God, listen, uh, boy. Uh, hey, man, I wasn't studious at all. Man, I want to hoop. Shit, listen, Jack. Listen. <laughs> He laughed no, hard about that, too. Oh, shit. No, but something that don't belong, uh, no, that was, uh, the Bill Russell didn't sign shit for nobody. Mm. Mm. So I got a Bill Russell basketball. Uh, yeah, so. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, he didn't say it. He was, I, they smeared doodle he, on his he wall. He did sign or did No, he, no, he, he did like, he didn't sign autographs. Okay. Like he, I wouldn't either. But he wouldn't sign it. They smeared doodle on my wall. I'm not signing so I got one. So I got one early. I think it was after like my rookie year or some, okay. my second year or something. I, Wow. And get, what, was, what was the hardest piece of memorabilia that you, you had to get? Like, what's your prized possession in terms of having to put in the work she, to get? She mentioned Barack. The, mm -hmm. uh, the only NBA game he's ever been to is when Chicago Bulls came. The chair he sat in. You took the chair. Had it signed. No. So I have the chair. Gary, how you, this boy thinks I signed it. Why, how you think about that during the game? Like, I you know, know, right? I want that I'm chair. I'm going to get that chair. I'm going to get that chair. <laughs> Motherfucker out there running plays like... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get for, that. For chair. those in the audience calling Cap, can you retrieve the Obama chair and bring it to the show tomorrow? 
Of course. They're saying Cap. They're saying. Nah. I mean, I mean, what they say? They say <laughs> Joe Biden. Well, they called him a lie last time. He <laughs> they already got the gig. They, they said Joe Biden. Like I used to. Joe Biden. Like, Biden. Like, like whenever I watch, like whenever the Wizards in the playoffs, I always sit in it. <laughs> right really? Now. Yeah. But on the sign seat, where do you sign it at? The back part. Okay, I'm about to say, you can't put your cheeks on an Obama signature, so I'm glad it's the back here. Oh, dang. You gotta how respect do you get it. That? No, like, how? Hey, Mr. Obama. <laughs> nah, and Secret, secret mean, Service didn't have you I'm the black president. Come on, yeah. If they see you coming out of the I was the original with black president. Is there is yeah, I was the original Damn. black president. Go on, send this to the White House. <laughs> I get it back like seven months later. <laughs> <laughs> So our next question, video question from, from underdog user T Mac. Nice. T E E. That's a question for everybody on the panel. What's the hardest system that you had to play in? The most complex system, and what's the hardest injury you had to come back from? He got a pillow in his car. So you know, he, <laughs> yeah, the boy got kicked. Uh, boy got kicked out the house. <laughs> Hey, 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 we, hey, we know this, boy. Uh, uh, girl done kicked your ass out. So what's the hardest system to run that you had to run, run in the league, I believe, and what's the hardest injury to come back from? Hardest system? I, I mean, at first it was the Princeton, right? Um, you know, growing up, you're not used to the Princeton, so learning it as an NBA player, realizing that everyone had to be basketball smart. <laughs> there was no just being a goddamn athlete trying to run offense and everybody... Because you needed all five players to be on the same page. So, you know, that was difficult, especially my uh, first year in Washington. Um, and the hardest injury to come back from, God damn it, I'm still trying to come back from it. Right? So I guess uh, Michael Fracture? Mm. <laughs> mm. The fact that you can laugh about it, Gil, that's why I appreciate okay. working on Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sure, oh, you waiting on me? Oh, you know. Um, the hardest system, I, I pretty much played in pretty much easy systems, but I would say playing in 96 on the Olympic team with Tara Vanderveer, um, like she just threw so much stuff at us every day. And then playing, at, I think lots of times people think because you're playing with some of the best, right, to ever play, that it's got to be easy. But that was actually harder for me playing with, you know, the Lisa Leslie, John Staley, Teresa Edwards, like some of the best that's ever played and playing for a coach I've never played for before. And she's just like, here's what we're going to do. And you got to go out there and you're expected to, to pick it up that fast. That was probably the toughest for me. Uh, injury, I had two. My ACL was really tough, but the biggest one was I had back surgery. And I came back and played one year after that and knew I was done. Yeah, that's, mm. that, that is a tough one. Yeah. To recover from. Can you, how about yourself? What's the hardest system that you had to run and what's the hardest injury to, to come back from? Yeah, we, same system, Gil. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Princeton shit. Yeah, no, it was, was good, been, though. It's serious, why is it only two coaches? Like, no, no, it was, it was only nice. same coach. Same coach. Uh, but I'm just saying. <laughs> same coach. But why, why we act like Princeton had this, this? No, because it was ran in college and they were effective running it, but you didn't expect to be running that in the league. But that's because they didn't have real talent. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Like, yes. comparatively, right? And we had talent. talent. And so, real, now, if I have real Hooper, like, we, yeah, that's we, tough to do. Yeah, and then Gill's point: if you're not basketball smart, your IQ is minimal. Then this is not gonna work. Mm -mm. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, because it's moving parts. Yeah. There's a, there's it's moving parts. parts. There was no, this guy, hey, just go stand in the corner. There was none of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm dribbling to you. you supposed to be back door yeah, you gotta or come get the hand off. And you just sitting there, that messes me up. Time right? to play. Now I got to be smart enough to, oh shit, he's yeah. dumb. Let me go ahead and <laughs> yeah. let me go ahead and spin. And hopefully the guy I spin to know the back door. Back door, door right? If he don't back door shit, I'm out there looking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Man, get out there, just wilder. <laughs> I mean, nah, that, but yeah. on, on a stage, well, how hard is that to run? Everybody can't run Princeton offense. That's what I'm saying. Everybody yeah. can't run it. We run an offense where you got dumb players on your team that, that struggle to remember plays because it feels like at every level of basketball. Well, we were good. Well, we had, our team, we, when we were running, we were good. Yeah, that was. Like, we had smart players. Okay. We, yeah. Like, we had J. Kidd, Kerry, okay. RJ, Twin at the five, yeah. I had myself. Like, I started, like, we... I remember that's this is so we went to the playoffs. So Eddie Eddie uh Eddie took us to the y'all playoff games the old oh, oh three oh four mm -hmm. first round, 
right? And he was like, oh, yeah, watch, watch how they run the offense, <laughs> all right? <laughs> hey, man, our players ain't this smart. <laughs> yeah, that's just start there. <laughs> we got some dummies on our team. They just, like, most of the lobs is twin to Kmart, Kmart to Richard Jefferson. Our players can't throw no goddamn lobs in no back door. They're not this smart, bro. We got to switch our plays Going up. back door, yeah. yeah it's like you, that's what I said, because everyone in, this, in Princeton, everyone does the same exact thing. So I can have 10 assists from the passes. He can have 10 assists from the pass because he's going to touch the ball just as much as I'm going to touch it. For the most part, he's running the offense more than I am. Yeah, I can choose not to shoot it. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, so technically, in theory, the smartest person is the power forward. Okay. Wow. Supposed to be. Hmm. Right? That's, that's Kenyon in the offense. That's Chris Webber in the offense because the ball goes to him and he dictates where we go next. So I pass it, cut. Now I'm, I'm worrying about where he, what he's going to do. If he dribbles this way, I got to follow. Or if he dribbles this way, I got to do this. And, right, so it's all dictated on. How long did it take you to get comfortable in that position reading, reading the D like that? I'm quick, bro. Easy? Yeah, I'm cerebral, man, when okay. it comes to this, dog. I, I, I see it on the fly. I, I, I process it on the fly. It's Not easy for me. But I'm, I'm so, we playing them, they can't run the offense. Can't we can't run the offense. Running this. <laughs> No, they can't run it. Cause I'm calling, I'm telling he, we already know what, what they they're running. Mm -hmm. But when I got to like I'm telling him what run not let the ball go, don't let him catch it. Mm -hmm. Don't and I'm messing all they plays up. <laughs> right. Deny him. Yeah. Okay, he about to spin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean I'm about to, gotta spin anyway. Spin. <laughs> he gonna back go off the spin. Like, yo, hey, can we do something else, can you here? Can I just one full flat or something? Absolutely. Uh, do some okay. new plays. Yeah, when I had <laughs> and then I had Michael fracture surgery too. Like, yeah, I had I had one on each knee. So I'm, I'm the first person to and come back and play from two. That's uh you might be the only Damn. one. Yeah, only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only one, actually, yeah. No, if I yeah. First, <laughs> that is the only one. Yeah. Like I had one Barack on each Obama. Knee. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I have me a uh, superhuman. Shit. That's crazy. The rest of the normal people, that hey, we done. Yeah, it took a lot of people out. That's crazy. Like that micro fracture yeah, took that, a lot. That was a, uh, ended ooh. a lot of dudes, man. Yeah, he went from 46 inch vertigo to 42, you know. Oh. Yeah. 38 to 31. Damn. <laughs> so that affect me. Like my first one was probably the worst one because I didn't I didn't know what how to go. And like most guys, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to attack the, the rehab. I had a BS doctor with the team back on the floor sooner than you should have been, mm -hmm. right? So with the second one, I knew. I didn't listen to the team doctor, an outside source. Mm -hmm. Like I went with the doctor who created the surgery. Mm -hmm. I went to him. Yeah. And he made my rehab protocol. It was, so I didn't, the team, like the team doctor after he botched my first one, he couldn't prescribe me Tylenol. <laughs> like I could have Damn. a hangnail in that bitch. He's like, can, can you let him look at it, man? He can't touch me. <laughs> Ain't nothing. I don't want to hear from him. But yeah, now nah, that Michael Frank shit is real. Mm -hmm. Very real. Cheryl, we appreciate you pulling up to the arena. We hope Always. to do it again soon. I need more jerseys on the wall, Gil. I think every time you come, he got to boo somebody else, add another. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. This is for me. <laughs> did, I, did you notice it or did they, did they show you? Oh, no, no. You? I noticed it when oh, I walked did? in. Yeah. When I walked in, I was like, oh. Uh -oh, okay, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, but I can't even get a jersey okay. on the wall. He got a nigga practice jersey in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, I gotta bring it. Yo, he got a nigga <laughs> practice jersey on the wall. I can't even get a game <laughs> jersey up in here. You do have a game I mean, this bitch every day. Uh, Texas practice jersey. That's what I gotta wall. bring it. You know, I'll move any of them <laughs> no. motherfuckers. Like, I, you know, I, like people like, I gotta, oh, y'all see the new one? Hey, show the new one. Oh, it ain't new, it's old, but the Kobe, I, I, I redid it. I found space for it. Because everybody, because oh, I, I think people uh, get confused because I talk about yeah, somebody the, the that, that I don't like. Joint. Right, it's like the Mamba one. Mm -hmm. So we got the, the. So when he switched to 24, he only signed uh, 24 jerseys. That's number four out of the, the, the bunch, mm -hmm. right? So I had, you know, there was a white one, purple, yellow one. I actually, uh, someone stole my white one. I gave the yellow one away. Right now it's online for 20 grand. And I kept the purple one. Yeah, you're gonna see some uh, MJ practice gear hitting the so net. Like the mama, so I had to add the mama mentality and, and make it special for him. You're gonna see some MJ practice gear hitting the net <laughs> in the very near future. But 
appreciate y'all as always. Uh, Cheryl was just so overcome by her jersey on the wall. <laughs> just overcome with emotion, but. Now we gotta wait until she comes. So we, we gotta wait. Throw the smoke. So we can smoke? All so, right, this is what we do on Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Woo -woo. <laughs> Back again, uh, you know, still missing Lexi's Arena. Uh, but, but what's done is done. <laughs> Looking forward to the next Gill shootout so Lexi can win again. See, see here we go. See? Well, see that? They think I'm lying. Well, they well, just go online, type it in, 24. Well, what, what is that word? What, what did it do? It was like Carde something? Hmm? What, what, what does it say right there? DM? Huh? Is it Carpe Diem? Yeah, it's like Carde Per Diem. Yeah, whatever. Carde Carde per diem. Diem. Whatever, yeah, whatever Italian, whatever Italian word that is. Some Carde Per Diem. Yeah, you go to eBay right now and type that in. The one you see there is mine's. Mine. And somebody then, got somebody took your shit, Gil? No, I gave it away. You gave it away? Yeah, I gave it away. During Damn. the give out. And you, you'll see it on there right now for 20 grand. Wait, what, a Gil's Arena giveaway? No, it was uh, No Chill Gil. Oh, okay. See? When I started on my YouTube. So if you would have consulted me, mm -hmm. mm. you could have came with the knockoff. Yeah, I got some Bean shoes, though, at the crib. The yeah. Game on. <sighs> Signing for KJ after one of the games we played out here. Got some. I only got like a few people. I didn't ask people okay. for shit. I got That's some Kobe shit. I got some Tim Duncan shit. Bill Russell, Michael Jordan. I got a baseball card collection like of like... Them guys are like rookie cards, yeah. like Nolan Ryan and yeah. Sandy Koufax. Like I got, man, them worse like rookie cards. Yeah, it was like, me, like that. Like me when I was collect when I started my collection, <clears throat> I had the Bill Russells, Larry Birds. I had all them guys, Magic and all that stuff. There's you know Magic Dream Team jerseys right there. Yeah, and I got that just from you know playing in the summer. Uh. But for the most part, when I looked at a jersey, and I seen you know, some of those go Bill Russell and Wilt. Yeah, I'm with you. There's no memory. I don't know what the fuck. I never played against you, never watched you play. So, you know, I got rid of them, kept the ones that when I look at it, I can remember the battle. Yeah. I'm with you. Makes sense. God is good, ladies and gentlemen. Makes sense. In the arena, another Monday. How we feeling? Just <laughs> 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 hey, I can't stand this nigga, man. <laughs> so, I really can't. So why we wait? Let, let's talk. LeBron uh, played against ten father-son duos in his career. One of those being you and KJ. What does that just mean about his legacy? That literally, father and son have had to see oh, LeBron in this shit. NBA. Played against thirty-five percent of people that's actually come through the league. <laughs> shit, that's. Well, he's. But no, nah, yeah, but yeah, it says a lot, man. Longevity means means everything. Like, for you to be able to be capable to still play. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not the fact that you're playing at a high level, mm -hmm. but to be capable to play. You heard what we all went through? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Surges. Yeah. I had both of my knees worked on, both of my ankles worked on, my wrists. Dude, put our bodies through hell, mm -hmm. right? And for that man still to be doing it and to say that he played against 10 different father-son combinations and 35% of the people that's come through the NBA... Put your hat to him, man, because people don't, it don't last as long. Will it, will it be 11 with, with Gil and Elijah Arenas? Will he stay, will he stay that long? Mm -hmm. Should be 11 next year. Huh? huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you already know. Somebody coming mm -hmm. through. There's a few guys coming through in the next. Oh, yeah, I got some. Uh, uh, oh, you didn't even talk about, Br like, when, when I was saying Brunson shouldn't be starting, remember, I'm, I'm going off the old school thinking mm -hmm. of, the fans vote for the star. Yeah. 50, 25, 25. He yeah, ended up tied for second with Dame, but Dame got the tiebreaker because Dame had the fan vote. Yeah, now, the, the problem I have, the problem that I have with this new style, in a sense, is most players don't like each other. So they're going to hate. Right? And then so, you make it worse with this shit. Right, so they, they, can make it, they can make it worse. And then the media, too, they hold grudges against players. Right? You know, so when you look at someone like Trey Young, right, he was voted a starter. Of course, he's going to get pushed out. The players don't like him, nor does the media. Ah. So, yeah, you're a fan favorite from the fans, which starters are, and then you get taken out by two entities that, that's going to hold. Why the players don't like him? Because he be busting their ass and talking yeah. shit? Yep. Damn. 
Yeah. But the, I mean, to think about it. Damn. You don't know, like because I've been busting your ass. Busting your ass. Now I get to say something okay. whether you make the All Star team. Now, look, or not. now imagine like wow. R- Russell Westbrook makes the All Star game as a starter from the fans. You already know. Yeah, yeah. Remember, he's the most hated by the players, just like uh, Trey Young. Yeah. Like, let's just think about it. Yeah. Trey Young is the most hated by the players. When they voted him, they voted him what the best ninth. It was like twelfth or something. Twelfth guard. Like that. There's only got twelfth guard in in the East. <laughs> That's hate. It was very Second good. best score, number one in, in uh, assists. He's yeah. That's so hate. that that's those hate. are the people that's going to be voting for him. Wow. And then same thing with the media. So that, that, wow, that's bad. It can't. It you is know, bad. It's a cold game. And then half the media. And then when it comes to media, half of ninety percent of the media is New York fans, low key, right? So who you think they're going to vote for if it? <laughs> Yeah. Well, and the media, they have their favorites, too. Yeah, they, you know. But, you know, most of the media is coming from that New York yeah. area, so you have yeah. a lot of... A lot of East Coast. Yeah, yeah. just keep but it back to the fans. Just yeah. give it back. That's what I'm saying. There's so much corruption that can happen. Yeah, yeah, You need to just... Just go, go with the paper ballot. Keep it simple. I mean, as pull a, if, up to the but arena. If it's, but if it's just... If, if there's no fans and we're just going off of who's playing well... Then yeah, Brunson's in that conversation. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, then you know Brunson's in that conversation when you're talking about who's playing mm-hmm. well. But you know, the starting five has never went off of that algorithm of playing well. Of playing well. <laughs> you know, there's motherfuckers in there that average 13 and six, yep. and they starting. <laughs> oh, damn, boy, that guy, he got a good. <laughs> Woo, he got a good machine behind him. Wow. Yeah, they, he's yeah, a plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Steph should be starting. Yeah. Right. Steph should be starting. Steph should be starting. Sure, we appreciate you pulling up. You're welcome. Second time. Thank you. If you do it five times, you get a jacket. I guess and now you get your five time guilt. But I'm just telling you, it's gonna happen. I'm he just, just made that shit up. Oh, and now he gonna make me just go out there and find a guy get him jacket. <laughs> any way that I can make it, spend his hard earned money and support him. <laughs> you know she I'm would. To figure out how I can how I can have a, a Cheryl's arena. Okay. We have we know some people at Lexi's arena. We know some people. You say you can shoot, right? All you gotta do, we can just test it. I'm not gonna have two cold nights. I can tell you, I don't, I don't, I done twisted it. I had it, <laughs> I had it on cold. Now it's on lukewarm right now. It's on lukewarm. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Though. This has been another episode of Gills Arena presented by Underdog <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> You're like, well, well, we will see y'all on Tuesday. Yeah, you got twelve, huh?